Take me to the channel for the PCP. Listen to some voicemails for the Minecraft stream. I really want to have Radcon funded by you. We can be procrastinators. Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of the Procrastinators podcast. And this episode, it's me, Ben Saint, the only core member here this week. Sad. And with me, I've got Sad, and this week, I've got Cece, the Tales Gets Trolled brand manager, and uh, Tectonic Improv YouTube boy. That's right. Hello. I'm back, finally. All the nagging yes. is over. I've returned. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just looking at your channel right now because I've never seen it. Oh yeah, you should check out the uh, you should check out the P- the the uh, the lecture on the lecture on uh, 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 the Linkara or mm. atop the fourth wall is is worth checking out. Other stuff too. Uh, um, play Donkey Kong ninety four. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it's um, a great game. Yeah. <laughs> um, man, those other games that came out after like the Mario versus Donkey Kong shit. That shit sucks. I uh I I know that the first Mario versus Donkey Kong is a lot more like uh Donkey Kong ninety four, but I know they do like the mini they like spun it off into its own like other yeah gameplay style with, like the mini stuff. I only played one of those. I didn't hate it, but yeah, it's, well, uh, it's even far cry. even when the with the first one, like the whole aesthetic is like messed up. Like yeah, uh, the music is like really bad. It's like MIDI. It sounds like a 1994 MIDI. <laughs> uh, that w- that was a coincidence. I picked a random year, and it just happened to be 1994. I, I that wasn't like intentional. <laughs> I believe you. I just I just mean uh, like a window Windows 95, Windows 3.0 MIDI. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about Windows? What about Windows 3.11 for work groups? Oh, Windows I. ME? Nobody knows about Windows 3.11. I actually, for uh, that was what my my computer had on it as a kid. Uh, rare. It was a rare Windows. A rare actually, Windows. the first uh, the first Windows my family had was Windows 3.1. Well, mine was better by exactly point zero one. Yeah. For work groups. Yeah. Yeah. Th- um, those before, were the days. Before we get before, <laughs> before we get into anything else, I want to make an announcement. About the Radcon, the Road to Radcon books, I put out the message, uh, a, a, like a week or two ago, that we need that we're sending those out, but we need uh people who have changed their address to update their addresses. I'm 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 making a deadline this this weekend. The weekend that this episode comes out is going to be the deadline. If you have not updated your address on the Kickstarter by sending us a Kickstarter message about your new address, I'm just going to send it to the old address. Uh, uh, so just, just don't fucking wait on that if you still got to do it. Uh, and yeah, the good news is those will be going out in the mail, hopefully next week. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be fun. I'm getting, get those fucking, uh, get those sent out. Uh, but speaking of physically released, uh, books and media, Cece, I asked you if you wanted to be on this episode to talk about how you in collaboration with Laserbot, just released the the uh the, I think the first volume of the official Tales Gets Trolled print edition, right? That's um, big news this week. Yeah, speaking of uh, I'm ju- I'm going to continue talking about Tiktonk improv right now, and then I'll then <laughs> okay, I'll talk about sure. that. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, aside I'm, Laserbot. Okay, I'm there's sorry. a new hotness in town. Apparently, she's going to be my brand manager from now on. We're going to get all of my videos published. On Amazon.com, featuring Kindle <laughs> variants. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll put them on Blu-ray. But anyway, um, apparently I was already subscribed to you, which oh, is perfect. Yeah, I guess I watched huh. I watched some of your videos before, though I don't remember which ones. There's and, a couple of videos that got kind of big that could have that could have uh, conceivably it you could have found me. Very funny how we were talking about we were talking about the duck universe that one week and then like like that like that very week you put out that um the uh fuck what's the, the character no name? no it um i i didn't put or was that... it older than that yeah it was like over a year old i just uh when you guys oh. were talking about maui mallard and like couldn't figure out his name i was just, like at work being like oh these simpletons they don't even know about maui mallard in cold shadow nobody nobody knows about maui mallard uh yeah kinda but uh, uh, they should. Does it's he? Does game. he even? Does he even exist in like other duck stuff? 
I don't think he does. I think they were like trying to set something up with that sort of character. Like like cuz yeah. like um cuz uh you know, Donald Duck has like a lot. They they always like give him like different identities. Yeah. And I guess Maui Mallard was just one that never really stuck cuz it's only the game. And in um what was it? And like other regions, it's called Donald in Maui Mallard, which makes it even more confusing. Because he's like, it's Donald like playing the character of like an action s- yeah. star in a movie that is Maui Mallard. Yeah, because because like so Disney would weird. Disney would do that stuff all the time back in the day. Like it would be like, well, because they've done like stuff like the Mouseketeers and stuff, right? So it, it's Mickey Mouse it's not... playing a character. I guess it's not that crazy. Like the yeah, the like um that. the old uh. The old um, Disney shorts where, like, they had Jack and the Beanstalk with, like, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, and yeah. Shit. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Although, get, it's, I... it's, a little, it's a little weird because there's more layers to it because it's Donald Duck playing a guy, a, a duck, called Maui Mallard. Who disguises himself as a character called Cold Shadow? So it's it's like it's two it's it's layers upon layers of this. So I can see why people would be confused, including myself guess, back in the day. I guess probably like cartoon like animation studios like Disney or whatever they would make shorts where they they put their characters in these like you know public domain iconic roles Jack and the Beanstalk or whatever and then probably at some point someone had this very meta idea of be like hey what if we like kind of break the fourth wall and call attention to it and sort of establish that like yeah these characters are like they are performers that work for Disney that like they they are they kind of do acting sort of like they're they're consciously acting these roles in these things and then that's probably why like the muppets are like that too they're mm. sort of like a, a parody of that kind of thing i don't know um i believe you know they, they I, oh sorry when, i went uh, the first the first time they made mickey mouse be jack and the beanstalk they probably didn't even think at all about it yeah but then by the time in the in the modern era i think they were like we have to we, I don't know, there was like, um, I remember when I was a kid, there was something called House of Mouse, yes. which was sort of like a Muppets style thing where it's like all the Disney characters hanging out at like a club and they're like, oh, we're putting on a show or whatever. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, re- so I remember that. Yeah. Um, mm. what I like, well, first of all, like the game, watch my review, everyone. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, yes, yes, yes. The, the, the game is like kind of clunky, but overall, I think it's really, uh. It has it has a lot of charm. Like the graphics are really good, and um, mm. the music is like excellent. And it's by uh, what was it? Michael Giacchino did the soundtrack to the game, and he like went on to do the fucking Lost soundtrack, or, like a lot of Pixar films. Lost, like the show. Yeah, like the TV show Lost. The, the wow. Maui Mallard was one of his like first things. Oh my! God. That he ever did, which is really <laughs> weird. So he but, yeah. he he moved on to. Bigger and better things because we all know yeah, video, right? vi- video games you are say for that. video games are for children. Um, that's right. He he seems <laughs> to like kind of still. There's not a lot of like interviews talking about him about the game, but you know, he, I think there's one where he like kind of brings it up, and he seems like he's pretty proud of it. So that's cool. Yeah. Hmm. But um, please, uh, enough about me. I want to hear about Tales Get Trolled Physical. Uh. For I want I want yeah. I have I have a quick question. Uh, you were... CC wants to talk about anything other than the tales gets trolled physical release. Yeah, well, it's, that's it's right. It's kind of like how you um, um, how, how when you're like eating dinner, you kind of want to save like the main course for a little, uh, little later. Sure. Well, sure. it's partly that, but also like people know me as the tales gets troll guy. But you know, I'm kind of tired of talking about tales gets trolled. Oh, um, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I could see, you know, getting kind of pigeonholed. Well, I mean, typecast. I, I still I still like Tales Get Stole, but you know, uh um but it's it's this is a really quick question though, but you guys were t- mm. you guys were talking about a uh, Mally Mallard on like the um the podcast where you had like six people, right? I think so. It was like Cybershell Gamers Tavern, Tom and Cuz 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 I actually remember that. I didn't listen to the whole thing, just part of it. And I I remember when you said duck stuff, it kind of sounded like you said butt stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint you. That's uh, that's the bonus episode. That's the bonus. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna uh, I was gonna say something else, but I don't don't remember what it was. So we'll, speaking we can speaking talk of about... bonus episodes, 
Speaking of bonus episodes, the oh yeah, the other the other news item is I finally got around to releasing the bonus episode, the the, the two behind the scenes episodes, and then the one other behind the scenes episode, the post show Goss Talk, the one where I have been have been talking about for like a month and a half, where mm. I ran at Cybershell for like hours. That was about, that was uh, an epic about episode. Trixie. It was it was it's finally out, and also I updated the patreon the model it's no the people people just had the playlist like nobody needed to subscribe to get the playlist it was it was just out there floating around so i killed the playlist the playlist is dead now the way to get the bonus episodes is you have to be a patron you have to look at the patreon page you have a master post that lists all links to all the bonus episodes are there it's the only way so i don't know whether it was one thing like that i released this bonus episode that i had hyped up the 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 goss one or that I had, or that I finally got around to updating the, uh, you know, the, the the distribution model or whatever. But these two things in combine in combination, uh, our our Patreon like exploded a little bit uh, when I it, it ju- it's jumped up like a hundred and sixty dollars or something in like in like three days, that's cool. which is like that's pretty that's pretty good. Check- that's pretty good. Oh yeah, I get um, a couple bucks. So I'm excited about that. that. I guess so I, I wanted to. So to so become a patreoncom slash procrastinators if you want to get that stuff, uh, like everyone does. It's the hot new thing on the market. It's yeah. pretty good. They they uh <laughs> they talk hot goss on it. Uh, there is there is hot goss, although it's not. I remember it as the episode where I just, like four hours of just Trixie talk. It's actually we kind of like move back and forth. It's I probably think, maybe half. I think, maybe half and half. I think it was longer than the actual episode. It's close because it's, it's because it's I, long. It's long. I was actually there, and I didn't really have there. I didn't really have much to say because I don't know anything about Trixie besides before she, <laughs> no. you know, before she, no. like I like I I watched her videos before she like yeah. went yeah did the stuff went <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what I sure, mean yes um sure uh so I didn't really have much to contribute but um. I think part of the reason you got so much money from the Patreon after you announced that is it kind of reminded me of how like Kiwi Farms only pays attention to you because like you're associated with Trixie, which is kind of right. Kind she's, of weird. she's got a thread. Yeah, because she, she's got a thread. And, and so she's got a thread and she doesn't like do anything anymore. She's like almost completely retreated like from posting almost anywhere yeah. so they've like there's like so starved for things to talk about that's like they just they talk about the pcp sometimes yeah um because because what else are they gonna say um uh, they're, yeah. they're gonna talk <laughs> about how uh, jews are gonna kill all the um, in, in a white different people thread. yeah in, in, in a different thread <laughs> that, that's the uh does Ethan Ralph have his own thread? <laughs> he must. E- Ethan Ethan Ralph not only has his own thread, he's got his whole like sub forum. He's like the biggest fucking thing on there right now. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's I don't really get it. Uh, but like, yeah, he, his thread got so big that they made they made an entire sub forum for like mini thread. I I don't know why he's so big. He's just like some podcaster. But uh, well, I, he's a I very large man. So well, I guess he, I guess he is a pretty fun. large. They like <laughs> they like drama, and I'm guessing Ethan has a lot of drama. I, I mean, he was a ga- he was a gamer drama. gator guy, and he, yeah, he's also so mentally like, ill. So probably like a thousand other people. I don't know. I don't see. I don't see what's so uniquely interesting about him. But uh, you could whatever. you could say that about like a, like a, everyone they obsess over. Like I never even I, so. I was never even like a big Chris Chan uh, follower. Mm. I but I'm pr- Chris, I'm, well, I'm Chris a, is one of a kind. I, well, I'm a minority in that, obviously. Mm. Mm. But anyway, I guess we can talk about the tales get told now. Yeah, I'm just curious, like, um, how did that? How did how did getting it made go? And and how has the response been? Well, I think we talked. Link, link in the description, by the way. Link in the description. Amazon link to where you can buy the the book. Can you link it right now? Actually, I haven't gotten around to buying one. I'll do that right now, live on I, the podcast. I actually also have not bought one, but I I am going to. Uh, uh, yeah, give us the link. Yeah, it sold way more than I thought it would. Oh, that's great. Uh, let me let me check let me check how many right now. Hold on. It was it was over a hundred last I checked. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And people have been like sending me pictures of their copy and stuff. 
I saw one. I saw one person posting theirs. That's that's good shit. Yeah, it, that's good for the uh, the hype train. Yeah, and me and Laserbot are getting the money, which is good because we both have like really shitty jobs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we need it. Um, I mean, I mean, the thing, the the nice thing about that is that, like, I mean, I imagine it will have a bunch of sales right at the beginning, but it will, like, it will continue to be around, and hopefully, it will continue. Like, people will continue to to buy it, and like, it will maybe continue to like, you know, generate some sales as you know, going on. Like, it's not like it's not like one and done. You know, it's like, like yeah. people in the future can will be able to find it and be like, oh, yeah, yeah. now I've discovered Tales Gets Trolled. Guess I should buy the book and buy the book, maybe. Yeah, and more uh, more volumes are coming out. I don't know when, but Laserbot already drew the covers for them. Yeah. He, he, El- Eleazar, he, sure, really show, the, show the cover. Eleazar, show the cover of the first uh, episode, the first, the first volume on the on the screen there. Even though Laserbot, there it is. Even though Laserbot left Tales Gets Trolled, he was really excited about uh, the physical edition. Uh, cool. Yeah, you good. Kind of, uh, um, from what I remember from the interview, he seemed kind of uh, he seemed pretty excited about it. Yeah. Uh, oh, I changed I changed the title on the uh, cyber. Sh- I think it was in in like after an episode we were just talking, and Cyber Shell said that he thought that the the title of the episode was kind of bad, like for getting clicks, and also the thumbnail is kind of like the thumbnail is really busy and it's hard to read. So I changed the title. I think I called it like Laserbot Speaks, but I think I changed it to like Interview with Tales Gets Trolled Creator yeah. Laserbot because because more people will know what that means. Yeah, all, um, all... And I'm probably gonna change the thumbnail to be like it, it's like a crowd shot, but it's kind of hard to tell what it is. I'm probably just I'm probably just gonna put the fucking Tails face on it. You know, that's what people want. Yeah, that people are crazy about that Tails face. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what you said. Um, I mean, that's what you did for uh, the first one where you talked about Tails Gets Trolled coming back. I did, and I f- was like, "Oh, I can't do it again." But like, nah, I can totally just do it again. <laughs> well, yeah. the, well, you mean the first one with CC? Because that's the um... no, the first one was Cyber Show. Mm- oh, yeah, true. yeah. Ah, uh, just so use it one again. Of... PCP fans will know. Yeah, fuck it. PCP fa- PCP fans are the dumbest rubes. <laughs> They're the, the biggest suckers on the internet. No name, actually. no watch. <laughs> yeah yes of course true, i true. i do like this thumbnail with all like the crowd shop but i agree yeah it, i like it but i don't know if it really works as a as a youtube thumbnail and you know it's such it's a shame at low shame. resolution yeah class good. classic oh, well. tales gets told art you know um mm-hmm. this is kind of tangentially related but i i love the um extra artworks that laserbot did for the comic that weren't like actual pages but they were like just stuff that was related to tales gets told that he drew let me try to find an example there's a bunch of them like right here. Uh, are you are you saying are you saying that there's like there's like exclusive bonus content in the book? Oh, not not in the book. It's on the website. Oh, OK. OK. There, well, there is like one or there's like one or two bonuses in the book. But hmm. that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about like these pictures like he drew. Um, This one, this is one of my favorites. Let me. Paste it in real quick. The best challenge for a troll is to troll another troll. What the? F- <laughs> it's a. Uh, okay. Remember Kermit's backstory where he tells tales about him and the Muppets uh, destroyed each other by trolling each other. I completely forgot about that, but thank you. Now I now I get it. Now I understand what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what the uh, it was. They they fell into a troll spiral. Yeah, a troll a troll battle. Never, never got out. Never got out. Many such cases. Yeah, sad. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. Uh, Perfect. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear that it's uh that it's moving. I'm glad it's moving copies. Oh yeah, there's a uh, that's pretty good. 182 have been uh shipped so far. Oh, that's almost two hundred. So Ben, well, more or less fuck. than the vapors. Um, ooh, wait. Uh, vapors one Kickstarter. How many pledges was that? That was first one was fucking two hundred and twelve backers, but not all of them 
<laughs> not all of them bought a copy. Some of them were like five dollar backers. Second, Vapors Two was three hundred and twenty nine. It's but I mean close. the price the pr- the price point of that was fifteen dollars, whereas this is like what twenty twenty six dollars twenty nine dollars yeah uh, twenty nine. So you so you know you oh, you sure. gotta you gotta you gotta account for that you gotta account for 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 total volume you gotta multiply the rate at which money it exchanges hands to, to, to the total the total size of the economy you know that's in, that's das Kapital right there it's the velocity. It's yeah. all about that money velocity. And soon money will be yes. worthless, so you might as well spend it right now. Oh, I saw a so great true. video from the Gravel Institute about <laughs> how Bitcoin is a scam. Oh, oh nice. It Gravel? I always thought it was Gravel, like Mike Gravel. I believe it's, I believe it's pronounced Gravel. Yeah, it is. It, I think he's Mike, Mike Gravel. Yeah, it is Gravel, but Gravel sounds cooler. And he, he also made... I knew a kid. Oh, I knew a sorry. kid in my like elementary school. I went to school through high school with a kid who was named Mike Gravel. <laughs> Not, Grave- not not Gravel, but Gravel. Wow, he's a uh, he's um he's obsolete. Well, that's a politician, isn't it? Or like yeah, Mike that's, Mike, that's Gra- whole... Mike Gravel was the Mike Gravel was a, I think he was a senator from Alaska. Yeah, he um, he was ex- he... he was extremely based. Sorry if that sounds like Bernie Bro shit, but yeah, he he was extremely based. He like just died like this year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, That's right. I was gonna mention uh, Mike Gravel or Mike Gravel also sounds better for him because he made that um he made that ad where he like throws a rock in the water. I haven't seen that one. Oh, that one is so fucking good. Let me try to find it. That's that. I haven't. That just he, seems like he, such a such, such a, a what Alaskan ad. I don't know something about. I think this is it. This is what ad. Oh, throw Mike Mike Ravel rock. I'm tr- I'm I can't find the uh, Oh, here we go. I found it. Oh, okay. What is the what is the point? He's just staring at the camera. Yeah. What is the point of it? <laughs> what is the point? I don't know. <laughs> it's a it's a avant-garde. It's, but, it's postmodern it sh- shit posting. It sure is. I'm going to yeah. go back in yeah, time but, and go for him. But he was like he was like the um the most left um presidential candidate in two thousand eight. Yeah, he 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 ran as um the thing they they always he ran as a gadfly to just like be there to like put pressure on the other like centrist candidates to be like hey how come you suck on all these issues yeah hey, how come you how come you're bad and you don't want to do good things. Yeah, and of course, um, of course, I never heard of him till years later. Um, yeah, the media. Well, he, well, the, he did it again in in twenty in twenty twenty twenty, right? He was there for yeah. a bit. Yeah, but he the, he, the primary. he didn't he didn't get into any of the debates, like yeah. like he did with yeah, the yeah. first time. Didn't he get in the yeah. one? I, mean, I think I think he else? was in. No, I'm pretty sure he was in like one of the early dem dem primaries. Only all, only in two thousand eight. I don't know. I, I remember I seeing no. him like in 2020. I, 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 I followed that very closely, unfortunately. Maybe, wait, maybe I'm, I am thinking of old clips that I just saw this year or last year. Yeah, I think that's yeah he, was, he was shitting. He shit on, he shit on Biden in that one, too, because Biden ran for president he, in 2008. But uh, Obama and Hillary were also there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of like he was he was gonna run this year, but like because yeah, like they changed the debate rules and like he was one of the people that like didn't get to like be on stage or whatever. Yeah, boo. Um, but yeah, the Gravel Institute peace. just put out a, a video about how Bitcoin is a scam, and that just reminds me, I I sold I sold my Bitcoin uh like a like a, like a week or two ago, and I was thinking like, and then it went up a bunch, and I was like. Damn, I missed out. I could have made I could have made a little bit of money. And then like a week ago, the like the president of El Salvador declares Bitcoin like a, a, a an official currency of El Salvador. He buys like 500 Bitcoin and then and for some reason that makes the price tank by like 15%. And and now it's down. I mean, it's it's up a little bit from there, but it's still down from where I bought it. So I guess I won. <laughs> I guess I won in the end. Yeah, it's, unless it goes to a hundred, and then I'll lose. It's kind. It's kind of a scam, but it's also like mostly just like gambling. It's it's both. It's both. Yeah, it's both of those things. Scambling, if you will. Scam scambling. Well, I know it's a scam. Well, was, but it's, but some people can make money on it. 
Oh yeah, crypt as so crypto mining, you know. stupid motherfucker bullshit, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's um, you know, it's basically a Ponzi scheme where like a few a few people get rich early on, and then everyone is like, "Ooh, I can get rich doing this," and then they all jump in, and then they're they're the ones that are left holding the bag, as they say, mm. when it never actually goes anywhere. Yeah, <sighs> that's that's how they try to get you. That's how they try to get. Mm hmm. And they do, and it works sometimes. Yeah. Uh, mm, mm. So, um, uh, you know who I was probably thinking of? I was, you're gonna love this. I was thinking of fucking Tom Steyer. I was thinking of Tom Steyer and his Steyer. Oh, buyers. the billionaire. I'm a Steyer the billionaire buyer. guy. Yeah, the billionaire yeah, guy. Yeah. I I think I was thinking of him, not Mike Gravel. The, I, I think was what they were trying to raise money so Mike Gravel could be in a. Yes. Uh, in a debate. Yeah, and, and, and yeah. that's why they had all the they had all these weird like they had all these viral tweets because his campaign was being run by a bunch of like zoomers. Like, zoomers. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that was it. And uh, CC yeah. was right. I, th I think the zoomers helped yeah. found the the Gravel Institute also. Y yeah, yeah, I saw them like in an interview or something about it. They just like um, it's Gravel Institute is awesome. It's so cool. I wish it were bigger, but I mean, you know, it'll maybe it'll get there. One of their one uh, one of their videos with um, <clears throat> where they talk about how America is shit that got over a million views, but that's I think that's the only good. that's the only one that got a lot of traction. Damn, I I have more views than the than the Gravel. <laughs> I mean, they've got like three hundred k subscribers, which is like a fairly new channel. I mean, they're still growing. I hope you know they want to be like the leftist answer to the the Prager U, which. The you know, is it is a tall order, but you know they're 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 making progress. It's gonna like, be hard to top that channel. Even yeah, yeah sure. I, can I say something really quick? And I'm sorry if this sounds like a bunch of like liberal cuck bullshit, but okay. W like even like ignoring like political views, like I don't understand how anyone can take Prager U seriously. Like, um, um, it's just I, it's I it's li it's yet. literally it's literally just that like people they. People that already agree with them just like 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 to hear it repeated. And it does it doesn't matter that the charts don't make any sense or that the experts are all like have like fake degrees and whatever. It's like it's it's that's that's irrelevant. Well, it's, uh, uh, and also it's, it's just Prager or people say people say thing I agree with. Mm. Dennis Dennis Prager is also like a old ass like conservative like oil baron or something. No, he's like an old ass. Well, he's funded by oil, oil barons, but he's like an old ass um conservative talk old ass conservative talk radio guy from like the like the nineties, and right. it's like he just has all the partisan Republican like opinions. Like I don't know, it's just stupid. This this town is run by spendocrat Diamond Joe Quimby and all his hippie friends who would rather. Would rather play hacky sack that, than lock up the homeless. That's another funny thing. Like, oh, Joe Biden is a fucking communist. Like, oh, okay. Well, he is. Yeah. Well, he is. He's 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 forcing vaccine mandates. He's gonna force feminize us. Mm, it's Any true. anything to the left of Ronald Reagan is a communist. Yeah. Even Reagan kind of pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> Even Reagan was a little bit. Uh, yeah, he dumb. wanted to give. I'm he wanted to, think, to give. I'm he wanted to give amnesty to illegal immigrants. That's like some fucking open borders communist shit. That's pushing it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty pushing fucked it. up. <laughs> Obama also said he was like uh, Ronald Reagan, which I agree with. And uh, of course, Obama was a socialist. So that makes Ronald Reagan a socialist, too. I guess I guess that. Yeah. Sound logic. I can't argue with it. <laughs> so uh, for a while, yeah. I thought I thought Dennis Prager was dead. Is he not dead? <laughs> I think I, no, I, think I his, wish. No, I think his brother died or something. Or no, there was um. I mean, no, who who were like the fracking Coke brothers? Yeah, the Coke brothers. One of the, the Coke yeah. One of the one dead. of the Coke brothers died, and I think I was confused for a while that like the Prager. That like Prager was one of the Koch brothers, but he's not. <laughs> well, I mean, his but... middle name is—it's his full name, Dennis Koch Prager. I can understand you might be confused. Wait, is that true? No. no. It's, okay, it's, it's one of like those—it's it one of those lies I, I tell. It's like oh, sure. it's like how <laughs> patented tectonic improv lies. <laughs> it's like how in uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie, their names were Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. Right. Dennis Prager. Dennis, Luigi Prager. Dennis. 
<laughs> Coke, Coke Den- Prager Den- and Pepsi Prager. Den- Dennis Coke Prager and uh, whatever the uh, Coke brothers' names were, I forgot. Did you know that? Uh, did you know that the um, Coke brothers ran as libertarians in the eighties? I thought that was interesting. Uh, that sounds about right. Yeah, I can't say that shocks me too much. Mm. Um, but I, I, don't know. I don't even know anything about those. I don't know what they look like or whatever. I just know that they're bad. Yeah, they're bad, and I don't like them. Pe- and one of them's dead, and that's and that's funny. People always said that. Um... The Koch brothers are like the leftist bo- boogeyman, kind of like George Sor- Soros is like a boogeyman for conservatives. But like I, mm. I was I was looking the other day and I heard that um George Soros was really concerned about the profits of BlackRock, you know, that company that was like buying like real estate and shit. I don't know if you. Uh, he sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Yeah, and like if he's if he's wait is is BlackRock not like a private military contractor? No, that's Blackwater. Oh, okay. Yeah. Black, okay. BlackRock like is PMC. BlackRock is like a real estate, and they're like responsible for like driving up like real estate prices and shit. And apparently, George sure. George Soros was like really concerned about their profits. And I'm like, that doesn't really sound like leftist, but you know, well, he's still he, a billionaire I'm, after, after I mean, all has been said and done. Yeah, Not that, that, that will exactly. Stop from saying what they say. Yeah, he's also I Jewish, mean, so I mean, that's every, gonna, I mean. Every, <laughs> I mean, everyone who makes, everyone who has a lot of money is really concerned with who else is making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. What does I know, that even mean? It, se- it seems obvious. How is that even relevant? It seems obvious to me, but all the um, conservatives are like, oh, George Soros is trying to, he's trying to make us all like cucks and shit. I don't know. Sure. Well, obviously. That's what I would do if I was. Pro- probably because he's so, <clears throat> he's probably just socially liberal and. That that's what that's what that's the only thing they care about because of its stupid culture war uh, bullshit. I really hate politics, so I'm going to stop talking about it. The socially <sighs> liberal, financially conservative person. Mm, I was thinking yeah. about that term the other day, and how I never hear. I always hear. I hear that a lot. I never hear the uh, the financially liberal, socially conservative. What would that look like? Uh, yeah, I. Hmm. I nobody does it. it. That would be if that would be if you're like. If Maybe. you just like believe in like tra- traditional values, you know, you know who that would be. That would be like Caleb Maupin. I don't know. You know who that is? No. Uh, if, if he's like a, he's sort of like a tanky guy. He's like a, he's like a communist. <laughs> he's fucking on he's Twitter, fucking face, dude. <laughs> he's a, did you look him up? Did Did you look him up? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. He's like a. He's like a communist, but he's all. Him and like Peter Coffin are sort of friends, and they are they have this shtick going where they're like they're appealing to like traditional American values, the like the 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 the, the what, do you, what do you call it the the nuclear family, uh you know uh uh, uh you know uh, they're 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 doing this like appeal to like traditional values, and their argument is like yeah capitalism has like you know has eroded our our values, capitalism has is what has destroyed our culture, you know ret- a return to traditional values is possible, you know. Through the through the adoption of of socialism, right? I like I think that's what it looks like to be socially conservative and and uh, uh, fiscally liberal. That's that's a unique people... per, that's a unique perspective because most people who are like pro capitalism are like dumbass boomers who just like had Cold War propaganda when they were like five years old, so they're all like, sure. oh, communist communism is evil. And I mean, to no, the... to be fair, uh, commun like. USSR and China and shit is like stupid. I don't like tankies either, but yeah. This this guy is so funny. He wrote like a bunch of a bunch of like a bunch a bunch of people who one might consider bread tubers, like all made fun of him. <laughs> so he wrote he wrote so he wrote a whole book called Bread Tube Serves Imperialism. <laughs> And he and he published it and it's basically just a rundown of like people in bread tube who he doesn't like and like why they suck. That's <laughs> and, that's like, awesome. That's, yeah. It is awesome. Pretty based. Uh uh he what did he he wrote there were a couple bits. He wrote that like Vosh has many skeletons in his closet including a lack of charisma. <laughs> um he he implied that thought slime has probably led uh trans kids to suicide by like ha- having them like question their gender too much oh or God. something. Yeah, it's pretty bad. That's that's <laughs> weird. That's weird that he like 
Yeah. To it's spend not time good. writing a book, publishing it about he did. internet people he this, doesn't like. This is all in line with like the whole when when Peter Coffin had their like public freak out and like banned everyone that they considered to be bread tube, including like Jenny Nicholson. This is like just has, totally apolitical people. Has Jenny you know? has Jenny Nicholson ever said anything about politics? Probably. No, she's 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 occasionally alluded to like some maybe vaguely culturally progressive things, but she's not like political. You know, you know I think she she thinks that like racism is bad, you know? Like if that's <laughs> if that's uh, political. That sounds like some global homo Jewish shit. Uh true, mm. true, true, true. Um anyway. <laughs> oh, um speaking of which, uh did you hear about the controversy? well it's not really a controversy except what? for 4chan dumbasses um the game no more heroes 3 there's a um you can get a sweatshirt oh, that says yes. fuck fuck racism yes and oh no people on 4chan got really we can't mad. have that shit yeah we can't have that shit in a video game you know because uh really because really it says fuck racism yeah okay and you know <laughs> anti-racism is a code word for anti-white this this is Oh, uh, I see. This is um this is just like when when the quartering was like what did he someone said like fuck Hitler and the quartering <laughs> was like hey, and the go, you want to know who the said the quartering that? was like oh it was like some it was Michael Giacchino. DC, you're shitting me. I'm not joking you. It was Michael Giacchino. You're Cicchino. Jo- you're shitting me. Who's I'm that? not joking. You can't be serious. I'm I don't, not joking. I don't know who that is. It's well, that's it's the, the guy composer who did the- of Maui Mallard. It's Maui Mallard guy. <laughs> oh my god! So, that can't be true. Oh my god! One hundred percent true. One hundred percent true. Holy Here, fucking find the tweet. shit! Find the tweet. Yeah, when someone was like Hitler was bad, and and the quartering was like, ugh, really? This is there we have it. this now. Yikes! <laughs> yeah, there we have it. I mean, ah! to to play devil's advocate, this is this is the Chikino cast. This is the Chikino oh, maybe cast. Not. I mean, to play Here. to to play devil's advocate, maybe quartering me- why well, no he didn't really mean this but maybe <laughs> yikes maybe he meant like oh you're saying hitler is bad well obviously like hitler is bad you're just virtual signaling or something but i was a big fan of his music but i yikes didn't realize he wasn't a, he didn't like hitler sorry That's, about uh, that everyone no i know i know I know what he means. I know he's like, ugh, this is just virtue signaling. But like, that's fucking stupid all on its own, right? Yeah, that's an it's an idiot opinion for idiots. Also, yeah, so. oh, I'm pretty oh, sure Michael Giacchino's Jewish. Also, also, if uh, mm. if Michael said like fuck Stalin or something, the quartering would be like, oh my god, based a hundred gorillion dead. <laughs> it it would be true. It'd be uh, it's that that meme of the the soy face that is like place unimpressed place japan soy face oh you know yeah that mm-hmm. in that one he gets excited yeah it would be that meme oh never mind He's hey guys i got a great idea oh by the way let's by... draw the quartering as a soy face let's draw him as soy by the way that show that place him. japan <laughs> meme is unironically me i'm not ash- i'm not ashamed <laughs> to admit it it's a lot mm. of people yeah yeah it is that's why it became yeah it is true it's, there was a nugget of truth in there, and it spoke to people. They saw themselves in it, like a mirror. Yeah, uh, that's why um, it resonated. Is that how? You, is that how you say this name, Chikino? Chikino, yeah. Chikino. J- J- I guess that makes sense. Is, is, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I remember looking it mm. up. Is he? Is he really mm. Jewish? Because that sounds Italian or something. Yeah, he's not. He's not Jewish. He's Italian. Oh, okay. I was, I was gonna say. I mean, I guess. I guess you could be both. Yeah. Right? There are uh, there are black Jews and European Jews and I know that there are black Muslim Jews, Jews because I've seen because I've seen the uh, the rabbi's cat and I, and I know oh that movie that in in that movie they go to they travel into the deepest part of Africa to find the share home of the shared homeland of all blacks and Jews and the people that live there are like twelve feet tall and they're like so dark that they're like blue. And they're just these gi- these these black giants that just have you know um what's the word uh, uh bar mitzvahs and stuff, and uh, the cat tries to get bar mitzvah to become a a a, a real boy, but the they won't do it because the talking cat is uh is is some witchcraft or something. Are you talking about That's are you talking movie. about Avatar? Because you mentioned like tall blue no. tall blue people. No, I'm talking about the ra- the rabbi's cat. It's like a Belgian movie. 
Is it like live think... live action? No, no it's, it's animated. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I think YMS recommended it in one of his like like best of some year run. I think Ben talked about it on the podcast. Uh, the only the only ago. it has like a weird. Ending, I probably doesn't did. It? Huh? Doesn't it have like a really weird ending? Yeah, it's what I just said. They go to the shared yes, homeland right, of, of right. all blacks and Jews, and they f- and they get chased out by these giants who are like, no, no fucking, no fucking foreigners allowed. Get out. <laughs> Yeah, um, I always imagine this looked like the thief and the cobbler, but I actually don't know. A little bit, ah, kind of. Rest. It sort of has cleaner. that rest in peace. It has that. Li- it has that. It has that Lynn Claire like sort of Tintin. Yeah. Like a uh, a uh, a uh, sort of uh what's the, like a uh, Le Lascar kind of like French oh my animation God. look about it. I never knew this was from 2012. I thought this was like from the 80s. Hmm. No, it's. I mean it. If it was one of YMS's yearly picks, so it w- it couldn't have been that. Yeah, old. yeah, yeah. Because he's it only done those as far back as like 2007. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad. Wow. I'm glad. I'm glad people are still making true art in the yeah. in the medium of animation. I wish. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, some, once in a while. I wish animation was more uh, respected. Um. It's getting uh, there. I think, I think it's a little too respected. Yeah, we yeah need that's, to, we I think that's a good point. Down, okay. I think I think the pendulum has swung too hard in the other direction. Yeah, de- well, depending on the um, depending on I'm kind on, of a cent- on the target audience. I'm kind of a centrist audio. about animation. I'm kind of a centrist about animation. I kind of think both sides are bad. The people that think it's a valid art form and the people that think it don't. Yeah. I think we should compromise. Yeah, you're right. You've <laughs> you've yeah. you've convinced me. True. Uh. What were we talking about? Tales get trolled. Be Mike Jews. Mike Shiano being Jewish. Uh, okay. Chikino. What did I say? Giano, I think. Mike Giano, sure. Uh, what's uh? So what else is up? I should um. Have I? No, I would have talked last time about how I moved into my new apartment and how it sucks and my landlady sucks and I hate this fucking place and I've been ripped off. I've been fucking I've been fucking scammed. Oh no. For this place it's dog shit. Yeah, it's fucking dog shit. First month's rent and last month's rent and a full month security rent security deposit and a $200 like application fee just to get in here. And the place is fucking dog shit. Yeah. The kitchen is foul. Kitchen is gross. There's a, the cabinet just has like a boiler in it. The cabinet is just a boiler. They can't even put shit in there. Floor is dirty. Cra- paint's peeling. Windows are fucking shit. There's like iron bars over my windows that I had to get like the the pro the, the the property manager to take off so that I could put my uh, my air conditioner in the window. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna need that for much longer because it's September now. It's funny. I just um, took my air conditioner out today. Fucking uh uh rats in the parking lot. I hear I hear rats squeaking out in the parking lot right out my window all the time. I mean I guess that's not the worst thing, but it's just emblematic. It's just emblematic of the kind. I, of I usually have. Loca- I, the, oh, sorry. The location, amazing. The location, amazing. Everything else about the place, dog shit. Should maybe. Uh, um, and I'm. Maybe your yeah, landlord yeah. should get a real job. Uh, I want to fucking. I want to say, hey, I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna like, hey, give me my. Fu- I just. I'll never get my security deposit back. I'm down like a thou. I've down like a thousand dollars because I'm definitely losing that security deposit, and I'm definitely losing that and that two hundred dollar. That fucking. It was just desperate. It was because I left my house hunt until the last minute, and I was desperate, and I was like, "Well, I need something," so I took the deal. I was like, "Fine, two hundred dollars application fee. I guess I gotta pay it. Here you go." And now I've paid it, and it's all gone. And and what? When what do I have left? Nothing. I'm ruined. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm truly sorry yeah. for your lots. I hate it. I hate it. Um, Are you living? But alone? I mean, well, I mean, it's a unit with other rooms that other people live in. Okay. So I mean, technically no, but like I don't, I don't like interact with them that much. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So you know, I got my own room or whatever. I usually, uh, um, I usually have cats in my uh, parking lot rather than rats. Ooh, cool. I would try. I'd like to trade, please. And it's That's... like it doesn't even matter where I lived. I lived in both California and Arizona, and there was always cats in the parking lot for some reason. <sighs> no, just just rats, just rats. Yeah. Maybe you can give Ben one of the cats and leave it outside, and the rat problem yeah. will kind of take care of itself. 
all we need is one cat, and it'll catch two mice, and then it will multiply into two cats. Yeah. And then that's that's how ecology works. Yeah. Uh, pfft. fucking some fucking like frat house is like right across right across the parking lot behind me. They're they're blasting their they're blasting their tunes. Oh, you not even just on week not even just on weekends. Just whenever they feel like. You it. should go and hang. You should go and hang out with them. I they'll never they'd never accept me. I'm too square. Yeah. I get, <laughs> I'm much too square for that. I feel like I can't relate to Zoomers. They weren't even alive. Uh, they weren't even alive when 9/11 happened. Oh, by the way, happy 9/11. Happy 9-11, yeah. uh, as of yesterday. Yeah, the ep- last episode was late because we wanted to delay to release it on 9-11, by the way. <laughs> to commemorate and we... the like, brave uh, soldiers. <laughs> Mujahid- Mujahideen fighters. Uh, no, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> we could get into a whole thing about 9-11. I have so many thoughts about it. Um, about oh, God. About, I'm, I'm not going to go into it. I'll just go into the short version, which is, you know, everything has gotten worse since then. And uh, the world is going to shit, and we're all gonna be fucked. That's all I'm gonna say okay. about it. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, my Your fucking all these fucking kids, these fucking kids in my in my parking lot with their rap music, and their and their and do a dance in the cha cha or whatever. Sick. There should be a law against it. Uh, you need to show yeah. you need to show fans of rap music real music like anime openings yeah video yeah, have, game music yeah they have these yeah they have these like giant parties in their in their fenced off backyard it sounds like there's like a hundred people back there just like yelling dunk knock knock excuse I... me uh neighbors uh, i couldn't help but notice you were listening to uh some quite deplorable tunes perhaps you'd like to listen to the <laughs> delta rune chapter one soundtrack <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Based. I wonder if I went over there and I was just like, hey, let me come in. I wonder if they'd be like, okay, or if they'd be like, no. Or if it'd be like, yeah, pay like fifteen dollars, you can come in. Just grab like I a wonder, six I pack want... and then they'll let you in. Yeah, maybe. You know I don't know. There was uh back before COVID, um someone in my work parking lot after work was blasting um Megalovania from their car. <laughs> Oh, I played. I was playing. I was playing dance, not a, actually Dance Sense Revolution, but a knockoff Dance Sense Revolution. I went to Crack's house yesterday, and we played Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> and he had a pack that had Megalovania in it, but we didn't play it. Was I it didn't Step play it because it was too embarrassing. It might have been Step Mania. I don't even remember. It's funny. I went to a, uh, I went to a store yesterday, and they actually had one of those like metal DDR mats for sale. Like oh I think it was God. like a hundred bucks or something. It was used. I was like, Pretty good. Yeah, I don't know who brought that in. And, you know, that would be Crack- cool and all, but I, I don't have the room for that, and I don't play the game, so <laughs> I just ignored it. Crack just had... Crack had the soft pad, but he had it, like, he had it, like, screwed into, like, a piece of plywood, and then he <laughs> he had, like, holes in his floor for screwing the plywood to the floor, to, like, bolt it down. Wow, he sounds like a really if- dedicated DDR fan. And yet he <laughs> won't buy so. one of those metal mats with the, with the handle... That you hold on to. Yeah, yeah. I guess why not? Why not just go all the way? He's a little I guess DIY. Heavy. You might as well. You might as well he buy a whole ass arcade aesthetic. machine <laughs> if you're gonna go <laughs> that far. The... Yeah, true. No, I went to his. Uh, I went to the house that he's been uh, renovating and posting the Twitter thread about. Place is crazy. Place is awesome. The house rules. He had. We had him on a few weeks ago to talk about home ownership. Crack's house is fucking sick. Who's, it's like uh, who's one crack? of the coolest houses I've ever been in. I've seen the pictures. It's not, it's, crack is. Uh, uh, if you don't know Crack, if you don't know Crack, then Dev of uh, uh, Endless even? War. Yes, yes. Uh, and fr- friend of friend of the show, and and the basically the guy who made Endless War originally. Yeah, he's cool. Cool guy. Yeah, yeah. His nice. house seems pretty um, cool, apart from the leaky roof. Does he? Does wasn't leaking when I was there. Does he? A- does he actually own the house? Yeah, he likes. Well, he's well, he's got a yeah. well, he's got a mortgage. Oh, okay. well, he's got a mortgage, but yeah, he 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 owns it. Yeah, in, in that sort of way. He's got a. Uh, well, he's got like he works for like Microsoft or some shit. He does. He does. I Very nice. I sort of work for Microsoft. I work for a company that contracts with Microsoft. Hmm. Do you do software stuff? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 
quality assurance. Yeah, I think I think I've known I think I've known at least one other person who did who had quality assurance with some some software company. Yeah. Uh, what a what a what a what a field. Um, you know what's weird? I was talking about this. Uh, Munchy, another f- former member, friend of the show. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's yes, that? Yes, I, I, I remember him from the uh, TGT lecture. Sure. What'd you What'd you say, Tech? Who's that? Who's that? Nobody. Oh, okay. <laughs> nobody. Nobody at all. Uh, but he's doing. He's doing. Um, he was doing art school. He was going to art school, but he's shifted gears and he's doing a uh, computer science this year. He switched schools, switched majors, and now he's doing computer science. That's crazy. I mean, kind of surprising. Luck good luck to him. Yeah, good luck to him. Yeah, uh, I heard he. I heard he left the internet to focus on that. He left the internet. Something else. And as a, and as we all know, you can't you can't go to school and be on the internet. Well, he he yeah, he left the fandom of the internet, and uh, yeah. <laughs> who knows who knows if uh, if the fandom the internet will ever let him back. You know. Yeah. <laughs> he he would have to. He would have to beg forgiveness mm. at this point. He would have to grovel. You know, he would it, have it's, to mic grovel. <laughs> it, it it might be harder <laughs> nowadays, but I've actually known people who have left the internet. It might be, yeah, it might be harder. Like I said, these days, though. Go off the grid. I mean, I guess you can yeah. do it. I guess you you can. It's probably easier if you just never uh, join the internet to begin with, like uh, like Bill Waters. Yeah, you have or to whatever. You have to go through the initiation process to join the internet. Uh, I mean, the internet is like, it's where you get fucking, it's where information is. I don't know. I mean, you, you, if you, if you're okay with just being like completely disconnected with, from society, then sure, you can do it anything you want. You can just completely unplug and not read newspapers and not talk to anyone. And then sure. Yeah. No problem. But like sucks. I don't know who wants to do that. Hmm. I love I love when the internet was like first coming out or whatever. Um they had all those like videos explaining it that were like really corny and they called it like the information superhighway and shit like that. I love the information mm. superhighway. That's such a, oh, that's yeah. and re- a good name. And remember remember when commercials had AOL keywords in them? I remember um Yeah, I was never clear on what those did. Me neither. But I mean, they they would they would say the URL and they would also say the AOL keyword. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I remember the no nobody even knows what AOL is anymore for like Netscape and Net Zero. But this wasn't like when they were brand new. This was when they were trying to rebrand and be cool. Because you know I'm I'm mm. I was born in '97, so I don't have I don't I don't know a lot of '90s shit. I know like early 2000s crap. And I remember like I just like one of these ads for I think it was Net Zero. Where there's like a bunch of these cool uh, yuppies just hanging out on their uh, in their New York apartment, like a uh, and like a skyscraper, just talking about how fucking sick Net Zero is and how they're like drinking champagne. It's like you need to be a part of this, and uh, <laughs> I, I just yeah. wonder where they are now. Yeah, you know what's really sad? What's that? I don't even think like when. Like I used to think of people born in like the late nineties as little kids, but I don't even think that anymore. I'm twenty four. Because well, we've mo- already be- we've already because got most- the generation alpha. Generation alpha is already being born. Yeah, exactly. Created. But Make also be because alpha. most most people online that I come across are like born in like two thousand two and like that's really like little kid shit. Yeah. Is that like if- in the in I mean like I mean I guess probably most of the people that I see on Twitter are like you know, there are people that follow the PCP, so maybe they're probably like mid mid twenties at the oldest to down to like, you know, late teens at the youngest, yeah. mostly. Wasn't there someone who called so in I... a few weeks ago that was like fourteen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to I was talking to Kazi about it, and they were like they were like fourteen or something when they started watching like uh uh the the horse the horse cast or whatever. Oh, that's weird. So they're, they're yeah. Well, at thing. least at maybe, least they're maybe sixteen. I don't know. At least they were in the target audience for My Little Pony. Mm. <laughs> in the target demographic, yeah, I guess so. Well, um, even even like fourteen to sixteen would be a little too old. But I mean, of course, there's the whole brony thing. So yeah, that's like an exception. One time, uh, the only My Little Pony I know about is like the one my sister watched when she was a kid. 
from I, like the eight from like the eighties. So I, I said I, the. I, oh, sorry. Go sorry. ahead. No, no. I, I, you can finish. I have an unrelated point. Oh, so um, one time in your Discord, I said the original My Little Pony is better than Friendship is Magic, and it was really mm-hmm. controversial. <laughs> um. Okay. I got a comment on my uh the 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 it was one of the two lectures the other day the 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 Chris Chan lectures and someone was like uh you said that Chris wasn't into uh, uh my little pony and that Chris got into my little pony late but actually Chris was drawing my little pony even back in the pre Sonichu era, in the pre Timeskick era, because Megan, you know, was I actually into remember my that. Pony. I actually remember that. I re- okay, I remember it too. But I hate this person because they're <laughs> deliberately misunderstanding me. Because I was specifically talking about the Brony fandom, which is not pre Gen Four MLP. Old MLP fans are not Bronies. It's yeah. the Gen Four fandom is the bro- and Chris was like really late to get into Brony. Yes, she liked the old My Little Pony for a bit because megan liked it but that doesn't count that wasn't what i was talking about i was furious i'm gonna furious with this individual i'm gonna side with you on this one yeah. because i get a lot of comments that are uh where people will people will say things that i obviously know about if you've seen the video maybe yeah. i don't say them outright but just like the way i talk about something should the, at least imply that yes the, i know don't worry every i know yeah you don't have to tell me i know the first, the first Sonichu lecture, the thing that everyone wanted to correct me on was that I said Chris worked at Burger King when in <laughs> fact, everyone knows, everybody knows she worked at Wendy's and she got fired from Wendy's for doing a Donald Duck impression. <laughs> yeah, um, that, well, that's funny. That's pretty, that's and, pretty and, awesome. And, and, and every, everyone comments to tell me I'm wrong about that and fair enough. So I corrected that one in the first, the first few minutes of this of the second one. But then in this one, the one that I got wrong that everyone tells me is that I was not aware that the reason Chris drew that chapter about Rose at you getting fat was because like some girl that Chris was talking to had like a fat fetish. And so she wrote this, like this fat plot line in to like, please that girlfriend. I, 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 I had heard about that, but I had completely forgotten about it. So like that one's true. That's like, yeah, fair criticism. I didn't mention that one, but other than that, other than that, I think I was pretty good. And I definitely was not wrong about the brony thing. She was not drawing... She was not, like, drawing pony stuff until, like, after the peak. Until, yeah. like, after TBAP was already over. Yeah. What's TBAP? <laughs> or, what, or, whatever, or whatever you said. <laughs> That's fine. What's TBAP? Uh... <laughs> Well, uh, how, do, uh, how does one explain? How does one even begin to explain t <laughs> Uh Ben Saint and Best Guy Ever used to have a pony show where they reviewed uh, episodes of My Little Pony together, among other things. t TBAP is, more to the point, TBAP, half of TBAP is the protagonist of the up-and-coming uh, video game masterpiece, uh, Phantom's Revenge. Now, uh, okay. now, Ben, is uh, is Phantom's Revenge being done with zero crunch by its uh, its employees uh, working on it? I, it is it is doing done with one hundred percent crunch. When mm. I am only crunching. Uh, 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 oh man, I was uh, I, I picked out music. Shit. I picked out I picked out music for the game. I'm stealing music from Front Mission Front Mission Gun Hazard. I'm going with the soundtrack to that because it has like a sci fi cool. sort of aesthetic to it. That's oh, cool. I, I is, never... that, is that is that the one for for SNES or yes? Was it one I of played, the later ones? I played no. It's in, it's an SNES one. I played Front Mission three on the PlayStation when I was young. Uh, I had never played Front Mission Gun Hazard. I think I played, it was on the SNES. I think I played Front well, Mission the, the, Gun Hazard like a little fir- bit on an emulator. The first few didn't come out in the U.S. from what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It's not a game that I like hear anyone talk about, so I'm kind of like, oh, people aren't even going to recognize these 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 tracks. Is it so, um, you know, is it is Front Mission Gun Hazard? It's like a side scrolling game. Where you're like you control a mech and you can like level up its stats and stuff. To to be honest, I don't even know what kind of game it is. I haven't seen any gameplay. Front Mission Three is a like tactical RPG, like a grid based yeah. tactics game. Yeah, Mo- most of, most mo- yeah most of most of the ones in the series are like that. Yeah. Which was my favorite kind of game when I was in like high school. I played like every single one to like, get my hands Armored on. Or like Final Final Fantasy like, Tactics. Final like Final Fantasy Tactics, a, Van, Vandal, a Vanguard 
Was it me? Va Vandal Hearts. No, Vandal Hearts is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, uh, oh, Van Van and Vanguard Bandits. Another one about piloting a mech. Um, the Tactics Ogre. Uh, uh, let us what cling else? together. Huh? The Tactics Ogre. Let us cling together. I think that's what the subtitle is for that one. You know, I never, I didn't actually play Tactics Ogre. I just know it's another part of that of that genre. That genre. Genre. Uh. Genre. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, oh, Phantom's Revenge. Uh, oh, I've been, I've been putting, I've been putting a lot of finishing touches on it lately. I've been making a lot of like, I've been trying, I've been beautifying it. I've been making lots of like fancy game objects that have like little effects that have like bubbling effects and little little motion effects. And I've been making like background details to make every room in the game look like a little different and distinct and stuff. And I'm and I'm just kind of. Uh, uh, I've been, I've been working, I've been going really hard lately. I feel, it feels like I'm in the final stretch and now I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm focused. I'm laser focusing in on it. it. It's, it's coming together. It's already a masterpiece. It's not even done, but it's already a masterpiece. Even if it's current state, by the time it's finished, it'll be the greatest thing ever made by a human. Uh, I am, I am, ve I'm very proud of you, my son. It's so cool. <laughs> I you can I can play I can basically play through the, most of the game currently. It just needs like uh, it just that needs it need it needs bug squashed and it needs um and it needs like you know polish and it needs like backgrounds fixed and like and a little more variety in 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 the environments and and it, and the final boss needs to be finished. Uh, how how not, long how long is it going to be? I think a um. Well, Ben, uh, as your uh, as as one of your um as one of your uh, benefactors, you will release this game uh before <laughs> quarter four earnings are uh are uh, up. So <laughs> uh, make sure to get that out well, before then. Uh, do whatever well, you need to. Time do. to crunch. Time to crunch. Time time to crunch. We got it. We got to hit our we got to hit our quarterly goals. Uh, uh just make the, make sure you don't get a job at Activision. A playthrough, I think. I think my goal will be that you can probably beat it in maybe like a couple hours of like trial and error and like oh, wow. maybe like two hours of like f of trial and error figuring it out. I mean, that's not bad. The the uh, like if you know ex if you know exactly what you're doing, I think you could probably beat it in like five minutes. Um, but you know, the the the, the real game is like figuring out how to survive and and win is it gonna i mean the the, the first game the, i made when i was like 16 was kind of like that the alpha version that i put out on patreon a few months ago was very very hard it, i think it was too hard only like six people beat it and those people took like five hours to beat it or or longer because it was just so much like trial and error they had to find like the exact right combination of 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 moves that like would not would result in in not death and there were like there was like zero room for error at all. So I've I've made it a little I, I've added some more like commands and some more like options that make it a little less punishing and a little more like you can you have you have ways to like sort of you have moments in the game where you can kind of like take a, a breather and sort of set yourself up for what you want to do next. It's not like the, the in the alpha version you would beat a level and it would immediately put you into the next level and if you weren't like set up if you hadn't like planned on exactly what state you wanted your game to be in you would get there and you'd be like it's already too late i've already fucked up it's like uh, a, it's like I've, those I've, old sierra adventure games where you can make like yeah, a yeah i was i was gonna, I was, I was going like, to fuck you 6 hours in yeah, yeah a little i was going i was yeah. going to mention those it's like you need to know the exact thing to do like in those old adventure games. Yeah. yeah, the 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 alpha version is you you literally to the way that you could beat it is first you had to figure out like okay, what do I need to do to sur survive? And then you would eventually figure out ah, okay, this is the goal. And then you'd be like, okay, but to actually accomplish that goal, okay, I I I have to basically I just have to like trial and error over and over again and just try like slightly different strategies until I happen to find the one that works and and means and and you have to and you have to execute it perfectly and if you misclick any button at any point your your strategy will be thrown off you'll take damage that you can't afford to have taken and you'll be like well there's no way I can win now I got to start over uh very funny I played like another it, yeah. I played another game like that recently a few months ago it's a uh, wonder boy in monsterland there is, is a that the 
No, I'm thinking of a boy and his blob. Yeah, this is okay, different. What's that? This is like a di- this is like an arcade game, but they tried to do like RPG elements in it. But it's also like mm. level level based. So like if you miss an upgrade, like for example, I missed a sword upgrade. So once I got to a certain level, it was like real impossible to beat the boss. So it's like yeah. well, I, well, I fucked up. So I guess I have to start the game over and get the sword. I'm adding. I added a. Okay, because um. I added a command to Phantom's Revenge called Scout, which lets you look before you go to the next room. You can use the Scout command, and it will tell you how many enemies are at, are like at, are go- are going to be waiting for you in the next room. So like. If you know what you're doing, you can use that information and be like, "Oh, okay. Then I should, I should, I should set up like this. I should, I should make sure that like this thing is is doing this thing before I go. Otherwise, I'll I'll die." Uh, and that's me being very generous. I'm a generous developer. Uh, uh, I'm I'm making Dark Souls here. You can beat it on your first try. You just have to pay attention to your environment. You know, you just have to you just have to be aware of your surroundings, and you never have to take any damage. That's not true. Yeah. Uh, 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 the. Okay. Enough of me gushing about my own video game. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great though. <laughs> it's gonna be so. Get good. excited, so everyone! Yeah. Good. It's so fucking good. It's so fucking hype. Are you gonna, uh, are you gonna release it on like itch yeah. and Steam or whatever? I will put it on. Well, I don't think I'm gonna put it on Steam. Like, I, don't I, even, I, wasn't, I don't even know if you can put it on Steam. I, I wasn't planning to sell it for money. I was just going to put it on... I mean, I'm going to put it on my website. I'm going to put it on Itch. I guess I'll probably put it on Newgrounds, because why not? Yeah, uh, Tom's I've, I've never do pretty I've, well on Newgrounds. What? Can, you, Tom's oh, game. Oh, yeah, Tom's... Yeah, I, I've never uploaded anything to Newgrounds, so I don't even know how it works, but... Uh, can you, can yeah, you, actu- can you actually, that. like, export, like, uh, Game Maker games to HTML? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you do. Oh, wow. I made Man. I made one before. I made a much simpler one for the champion, my other comic, uh, a few years ago. And yeah, it's just it's an HTML. It's just goes. It's just embedded in my in a page of my website. Man, I was uh I was more active on Newgrounds in the old days when all you had was Flash. Yeah, you could you could you could only make Flash games. I saw. I was. That's just. Oh, I think they mentioned this because this was. You told me about this the interview the 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 thing where Laserbot was on the was on the the panel and he he barely fucking got in at all until yeah. the very end. I yeah. was so the fact that it was a, it was the Clock Gang, the Clock Gang from like the old Newgrounds days. I was like, yeah, wow, I can't I can't believe the Clock Gang is still a thing. Even at the time, I I when it was contemporary, I remember like being like baffled, like what is the deal with this Clock? Like what is the point? What are these people thinking? Why are they doing this? Uh, I what? think I I think it started with Strawberry Clock. He made a movie called yeah. Bee, and yeah. it was just a red bee on a white background, and like people like ironically liked it. I see. And I, I don't know like the whole history of it, but it started. You know, from I guess there. I guess I'm jealous. I guess I'm jealous that they were a bunch of like internet content creators who formed who formed a tight knit clique. And then they fucking they we- they weathered the storm together. Uh 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 they didn't they didn't crack under pressure and all and all turn on one another uh and all quit and all rage quit the podcast and become and become bitter enemies. Yeah, like you know? uh, like Kermit and the Muppets <laughs> did in Tales. <laughs> like trolled. yes, like that's who I was thinking of. Yes, like Kermit and the Muppets. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else. No. Just Kermit and the Muppets. The 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 great tragedy of the well, er, hubris. Er, everything that's ever happened in real life is also applicable to Tales Gets Trolled. So that's how it goes. <laughs> that is how it goes. I would I would have to agree. I would have to agree with you on that. Uh, I got I got to say, um, I'm I'm really impressed with what Gib did because. She actually had to like print out the books herself and like send them out manually, which is I did probably that. yeah you did that too and it's I did probably that a... too. yeah hey, you did that too. Hey, I'm right. Hey, praise me. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, no, well, you're I just no, I, you're I, impre- I just you're impressed I, with I just me. I've done that like three times. I'm way better. No. I'm way better than that. No, okay, no, okay. you're not. Anyway, okay. um, uh, Damn. I just I just mentioned Gib because <laughs> we were talking about the Kickstarter earlier. Yeah. But um 
yeah, it's a lot harder than what I did. Basically, all you have to do is just upload the um, PDF, and they like print it out for you. Yeah, and I've never done a. Um, I've never done a uh, an Amazon. The book the release, the, but... the downside is that they take like part of the money. Obviously, well, sure. of course. Well, I guess you would have you, to do if you printed it yourself too. You'd have to pay for uh, printing costs. I'm yeah. I, I'm sure. I'm sure that it's cheaper and more efficient to like to print yourself in like large batches because you know yeah. the, a- Amazon they're they're print on demand, so they don't they don't have like backlog, right? You don't have to pay up front to have to have like you know five hundred copies produced to be sold later. But right. you know with that with that I'm sure it comes an increase like you know, percentage that they take yeah. for that ser- for that service, right? Which is which is part of the reason it's thirty dollars because uh Sure. Um we wanted to make a profit from it so we had to increase yeah. the price. Yeah, and I we, mean absolutely. Um and if you combine the shipping costs and the um if you combine the shipping costs and the amount that Amazon takes, we couldn't sell it for like cheaper than like twenty dollars. That's like that's like the the profit line. Yeah, that's like the minimum we could sell it for. Ugh, yeah, yeah. And they wanted me to use like the like I wanted to make the book as big as possible, but they if you do that, they also like make you like use the more expensive paper, which also mm. increased the price. So yeah. Mm, I see. I see. Yeah, it's. I mean, I'm sure Amazon is a bitch and uh you know is is set up to extract as much surplus value as they possibly can yeah thanks uh, jeff Be- thanks jeff Be- bezos thank, but uh thanks jeff some bezos. some people some people complained about the price but i made a poll asking would you rather have a, a smaller book with worse quality that's cheaper or a more expensive book that's better quality and most people said the latter so i was like oh okay whatever yeah i th- i think i would agree with that what are the and i mean you know of the book? E- yeah. Like uh what's the how big is it? Hang on, let me, let me um, see if it says. It's it says on the Amazon it's like going from memory it's oh, like okay. oh, eight, right. eight, eight, eight eight and a half by about like eleven and a half. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah. That is pretty big. That's bigger I was picturing like a like a digest like a paperback. Size, yeah. Yeah, I was I was picturing like digest size. Oh, okay, that's pretty that's bigger than I thought then. That's yeah. pretty nice. That's um, the yeah. that's the biggest I could make it, and if if I made it smaller, I'd have to like cut up the panels and like rearrange them. Oh yeah, because mm, because yeah. they're like because the original Tales Gets Told pages are like vertically long. Sure. sure. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I um I was thinking um wait, fuck, uh fuck. Oh no, what was I thinking? What were we what were we just talking about? Oh no. The uh, book sizes. Book sizes, book sizes, book sizes, book sizes, book sizes, book sizes, printing, pa- page sizes, money, rearrange, B- money, ah, Amazon, it's gone, Dang. it's gone. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah. It was oh, going to yeah. be really good. Oh, yeah, and people are going to criticize, or probably nobody... Oh. Oh, what what is it? I I remembered. I remembered. I was I was gonna say that like no matter what price point you price that, so, somebody's gonna complain about like oh it's too expensive. But oh yeah, like, well I, I don't but, I don't care about but, that. You, know, just... you you got you got you got it. You know you you gotta price it how you gotta price it, and like it's largely not up to you how much it costs to get something made, right? Like yeah. it is what it is. I know. Yeah, that's, I, that's all I was gonna say. I was also gonna say if like uh. Uh, right wing people would probably say to me, "Oh, you're you're <laughs> like you're like on the left, but like you use Amazon, isn't that like hypocritical?" And they're right. Yeah, it is, but I don't <laughs> care. Hey, do as I say. I, 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 I have to I have to make a deal with the devil to make Tales Gets Told become a reality. That's what I have. No, to but do. if you do that, then you, you won't to... get angel deals later in the run. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, What's you don't. You... Now, what are you doing? It's a it's a, it's a trap. It's a trap. Angel deals better. You want those soul hearts. The angel deals are better now, yeah. ever since uh, Repentance or whatever. Angel deals yeah. were good even back in the day. They were good, but they weren't good enough, you know? Like, they it's, good it's better because devil deal items were just so good. Yeah. 
I, I guys... think I just liked them better. I just I like personally Angel. thought they were cooler. I, I think they're yeah. cooler too because you know you gotta wait a little longer for them, and a yeah. lot of like the higher tier items like Godhead and Sacred Heart are just they're just cooler to me than Brimstone and like Abaddon mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, it might just be that I'm more more familiar with the devil items, so I'm kind of like, ah, Brimstone, ah, I get it. It's like, ah, I get I it. I think already. I get what this item's all about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with whatever you said. <laughs> We're talking about Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 fi- I figured oh, okay. it was something I like that. I wasn't I, fi- sure I, f- I, 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 I. I figured you were referencing some like that was the only like video game I could think of was like heaven and hell shit. So I was like, yeah, they're probably talking. Well, about what that. about uh, Guilty Gear? Heaven or hell, let's rock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you don't buy items in that. That's true. You buy That's the one thing it's missing characters for DLC. Do you? I don't know. Maybe. No, I hope not. I know there's a season pass. Uh, there's always a season pass. It's a fighting game. I- I don't I know even people... know what that means. You know, it's like post-launch. Know. Like, the game comes out and they add new characters and you pay for them. Oh, and season pass is like you get whatever they release yeah. for the season? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep, we, uh... Okay. Life is hell. Uh, yeah. It's the common it's the common state of games these days. Whatever. It is what it yeah. is. Well, well, darn. So, uh, what, well, what post-launch content will uh will Phantom's Revenge have then? Uh, oh, fucking hell! I'll add a, I'll add a. Give, you should give them a wait. A Santa wait, hat what if I added Christmas. what? What if I added skins where you could where you could swap Phantoms as different ponies? Like you could play as Keg. Ooh, like you could play as that should be like honestly. This should be like a honestly, it wouldn't selection. even be that hard. I could I could probably add that in like a day. If I wanted to, like, char- yeah, like a uh, hard mode keg character mode? select, yeah, keg mode. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it wouldn't even be hard. It wouldn't even be hard. <laughs> well, there you go. I'll, you I'll heard it here first, folks. Is this is this a brony game? <laughs> it is. No, it is. It's a brony game. That's why it's. That's why it's when not he a brony it game. Grounds people are gonna get mad at him. Tbap is like Tbap is like a pony show for anti bronies. What's an anti brony? I'm, like I'm like a fallen brony. Like I'm like <laughs> I took the devil I'm like, deal. I'm like a black. Uh, yes, I'm like a blackguard. I'm like a. I'm like a. I'm like a, a blackguard to the bronies paladin. Blackguard. Yeah. Well, you. That's how you say. Yeah, it, right? it is actually. I only found that out recently that you're supposed to pronounce black. When when I, I know that the, like the actual English word is pronounced blackguard, but the I'm not sure if the D and D class is meant to be pronounced like the word or if it's it's if it's distinct enough as its own thing that you're just supposed to say blackguard. I think you can do either or, but I know that in fifth edition there technically isn't a blackguard or a blackguard. They're actually called like the uh, the oath breaker. And, I mean, tomato, tomato. Yeah, right? it's it's all the same difference. It's technically not even supposed to be a player class because it's in the DMG, but you know, people still play it. I mean, same with same with third edition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just don't want people playing Dark Knights or whatever you want to call them. No, no, we can't have that. Yeah, we can't, we can't have that. Uh, that sounds like a very bad idea. What are we talking about? Um, oh, keg mode. Keg mode. <laughs> Take one sounds cool. I like that. Honestly, the 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 like all my assets are like like swapping out sprites is like the easiest part. Hmm. Making making sprites and swapping them out is the easiest part of development. It's not hard. What's hard is just fucking ha- is just having a bug and hunting for it for like six hours. I yeah. That's that's the the part that's difficult. Everything else is cake. That's that's always uh, that always seems like something that isn't very hard to implement in a game, but it's still like nice to have. Like, uh, what was it? Cave Story has a mode, and like the re-releases yeah. where you can play as Curly Brace, and all it does is change yeah. like so it just changes the, the character spray, and like she talks sometimes, and that's it. But it's fun because you know I would like Curly Brace. I, I would simply I would simply have to create a a palette swapped set of sprites. And then just add like a little a little script into the 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 game object mm. that is because Fa- Phantom Horn is is an is an he's his own object in the game that has his own like behaviors. So I would simply have to like, and he has a set of 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 um sprites sort of 
built into him that are like, this is his normal sprite, this is his running sprite, this is guarding, attacking, uh, 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 all these various things. Uh, I would just have to add like another, like a flag to be like, if keg mode true, then use this set of sprites instead of these set of sprites. Yeah. And that would be it. It would, that would just do it. Um, <laughs> Lamal. Well, fuck. Hey, don't, uh, fucking Eliazar cut all that. <laughs> cut all that. Uh, because I don't want anyone to know. Ooh. That should be a secret. That feels like a secret that I just spoiled before I even thought to do it. Now, now I don't know if I can even resist the temptation. Hey, mom's the word. I won't say any, I won't say nothing. But I can't do it. I just want to credit until... in the game is all. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I can't. But I can't do it. Okay. Ideas here's the thing. Guy, I might do... improv. Here's what I'm gonna do. I might do it, but I I won't let myself do it until the game is done. There you go. And then once once it's done, then maybe as a treat, maybe I will be like, okay, I guess I can add keg mode. <laughs> Uh, perfect. It's, it's once obviously it's once you beat it, you have to unlock it. Uh, anyway, what? Um, forget, forget everyone. Forget everyone. Forget I said all that. Don't tell anyone about that. Mm, that's a secret. No problem, listener. That's just between. That's just between you and me. Mwah. You mentioning Cave Story, which is one of my favorite games. It made me think like how much of the um content from the um later versions was actually made by uh Di uh uh so Daisuke. I I actually know quite a bit about this because uh because of reasons but um I know well, a lot of the uh the side like the extra content that Nicholas added in the ports uh isn't made by him but a surprising amount is like uh the Wind Fortress level that's Yeah, that's the one I knew about. He he made that. That was just like a cut level from the game. Um I know he did uh I, I he did the redrawn sprites that like you know they're higher res. I think he if he didn't yes. do them personally, I know he supervised them or it was like he gave the go ahead on them. But uh Yeah, that's that's one that's one of the few things I like from the newer versions cuz they're 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 in the same style and everything just I like them. Higher resolution, yeah. I like them, but I also think the original sprites have their own charm. But um yeah uh all the other challenge modes all the other challenge maps are all, actually all fan fan creations that uh that nicholas like yes uh offered to put into the game and people accepted like uh and some some of them i believe like some of the creators of the challenge maps actually got jobs at nicholas for some time uh through, yeah through that but yeah most of the most of the side stuff uh it wasn't made by pixel well i was i, I was wondering about the um the curly brace mode, because I doubt he wrote the dialogue for that, but I'm not sure. No, I, I'm actually, yeah, I'm not sure either. He doesn't, she doesn't really say anything too substantial, but yeah. But. Well, I, I remember it because I played it for like ten minutes. Yeah, and I know she, I know she does say stuff, but it's a, uh, it, it's cool nonetheless. It, it, like I said, it's just a small little thing they added. That's like, ah, oh, that's cool. I'll play, I'll play curly this time instead of uh, instead of quote. On, honestly, I would uh. Maybe I could give Cave Story a replay. I've played it before. I've I've beaten I've beaten it all the way through. Even the but secret ending. Which, I which be, yeah, I've beaten the secret yeah. ending. Which version? Um, on the PC, the the old old PC release. Oh, okay. Like the original freeware uh, one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Um. There's... But it's it's so good. I could I could I could. It's been long enough that I could maybe give it another. You could definitely beat go. it in a day. Yeah, it wouldn't be that hard. You could probably even do like a stream mm. of it. Oh, it's a good ass video game. It's really good. It's one of my yeah. favorites as well. Yeah. Uh, Man, I I know it's like really controversial, but I just the Nicholas thing just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, mm. it's it's definitely. Oh wait, you made a video about this. I did. Tech. Yeah, I made a video about it like last year or so because that was um there was yeah I, I watched that there was a lot of yeah that of, have you have you seen that CC? Um, if I have, I don't remember it, but that's one reason why I, I brought Cave Story up because I wanted to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead, sure. be my guest. But uh, yeah, I made a video talking about like the whole Nicholas uh thing in relation to cave story because there's a lot nicholas is obviously not a very good company uh since that was it since jason schreier like uploaded that uh, uploaded <laughs> he published that expose on kotaku a while ago it's like tyrone rodriguez yeah, that's... Is a shitty ceo and all that jazz it's like the work culture sucks 
Uh, and that that is bad. Yes, it sucks. But it, but uh, alongside that, just like it became more popular to to say that Nicholas stole Cave Story from Pixel when there's really nothing that proves that that even that happened at all. It, it's yeah. I've I've I don't I don't remember if I've watched your video enough or not. But I've done a lot of research on it myself, and yeah, I came to the same conclusion. Like. It's not really clear, like what the status is on that. It, but I can understand why people think yeah. that because Nicholas acts like they made Cave Story when they actually didn't. Yeah, and you know they're they're within their right to you know like talk about the game, and to an they did do Cave Story Plus. That was all them for the most part. You know, with with like oversight by Pixel, obviously. But yeah, it, it's it it just it's really. It's really hard to to say they didn't uh, steal Cave Story when there's evidence of like other companies having terrible work relations with Nicholas, but like we we know that uh, you know, Tyrone and Pixel they still follow each other on Twitter, so they're obviously on good terms. There's uh, Pixel will always like talk about the game whenever uh, whenever it's brought up by Nicholas. There's really nothing nothing to really go on there, there a lot of people like to point to the um have you ever played carol blaster either of you yes yes i have it's a i have also played carol blaster carol blaster is actually a really good game uh i i, yeah, I held off on playing it for a long time because i didn't because uh because i thought it wouldn't really like live up to cave story and it's not i mean it's not it it, it, it is no cave it's story. it's a it's yeah it's it's going for a different thing it's not like yeah it's not in the same vein of K story and like the the. It's 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 a it's a side scrolling like sh action shooter. It's not like a a, a Metroidvania like yeah explore, it's exploration world. like story game. But uh, uh, it it is a really good game and I like it a lot. And mm -hmm. a lot of people will mm -hmm. point to like the plot of Kara Blaster being about like uh, there's this yeah. like one tweet by this guy who's like if you ever want I I, I, wanted... I know exactly what you're talking about yeah it, yeah or basically like he he just. He, he he equated the plot of Carol Blaster to real life experiences that may have happened between Pixel and Tyrone Rodriguez, the the mm. CEO of a. But it's just um, speculation. But it really is just speculation, and and it it's interesting how people come up with their own conspiracy theories, like, oh, uh, Pixel put Tyrone in the in the credits as special thanks, but he was being sarcastic. Yeah, and yeah. He, and he actually and he actually hates him. It's or whatever. It's really strange because I feel like And he's only he's all, they're only following each other on Twitter, so he's only following him on Twitter to be polite or whatever. I that's not I thing really they said. I really don't know what to make of, of everything. Cause like because like before I played Carol Blaster, I just uh, uh, and and like before I looked into the whole Cave Story stuff, I really just did assume that they probably did take Cave Story because it's it's a really easy thing to believe. But you know when I saw that he was thanked when Tyrone was thanked in the in the game itself, that kind of made me like raise an eyebrow a bit and kind of want to research it. And um, well, I, I there's this um there's this guy his name's Super Something Zero who can who really did a lot of the research. And we wait super what zero super something zero yeah but what oh very funny so funny uh, he, he he's really the one responsible for a lot of the research for that video uh he has like a he has like a master thread he he posted on twitter like a little while ago that um that kind of chronicles like all the evidence for and against the the whole cave story nicholas thing and it it, re it really just reads to me that that uh, uh i don't think I don't think uh, Pixel. I don't think Pixel got the game stolen from him. Uh, maybe maybe Nicholas has some sort of like rights agreement to exclusively publish it, but um, but that's not really the same thing as it being as the IP is wholesale being stolen from the man. I don't know. It's just, it's this whole snafu. I not that said. I, I don't think that like I don't think Nicholas is a good company. I think they I think they suck, but. Yeah, they they do suck. And you should probably just um, buy Carol Blaster instead of getting like Cave Story Plus or whatever on Steam. Yeah, you if you play Cave Story, get the uh, free version. Yeah, because there's a lot of mods you can find for the free version that that kind of spruce it up a bit. If you if you're interested in that, but if you want like the uh, original experience, it's always it's always still there. It's always on the the uh, fan site. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I did. I did talk to someone on Twitter who uh, I don't remember if it was Super Something Zero, but um, I did talk to someone who emailed uh, Pixel, and they said something like, "Cave uh, Nicholas um, got the. They have like the um, similar to what you said, like the publishing rights or something. Like yeah. they um, have a." Oh, fuck, They're I like allowed exactly. to use the characters. I know that because they uh because they show up in a bunch of Nicholas's other games. Yeah, I'm trying to find exactly what he said. But uh, they're allowed to use what what quote and curly yeah brace quote and... curly brace the doctor Balos whatever whoever whoever really they hmm. like the the characters from the games they're they're Balos is that the that's the that's the the secret villain of the game spoilers everyone. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought you were talking about Balrog. Oh, no, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, they're definitely not allowed to use about. Balrog. <laughs> He's the only Why one not? they didn't get in the in the divorce. Wait, okay. Y- wait, oh, wait, you're wait. Tellin- you're, te- you're, you're telling one of those patented lies again. <laughs> one of those patented tectonic <laughs> improvements. Uh, I can't help myself. I'm just so unaccustomed to such trickery. I thought you were serious at first. No, no. I think I think Balrog even is in some of like the. Sp- the sp- uh, like spinoff games that they make. <laughs> like the good, listen, I'll give you, I'll trade you, I'll trade you all the other characters. Just give me Balrog. No deal. Absolutely, you no can deal. never have Balrog. In the um, in the physical version of Cave Story Plus, they released on Switch like years ago. They came with a, they came with like a bunch of goodies. Uh, and one of them was like a keychain that would, e- it would be a, it was either a quote curly brace or Balrog, and I got a little Balrog keychain. I still have it. I, I wanted the curly brace mm, one. That's pretty good. But uh, Balrog's pretty cool too. Yeah, agreed. Did you play the uh, original Wii version of Cave Story? Because that was like really bad. That's how uh, that's how I first ever played the game. And yeah, I, I, it, it like released in a pretty rough state. But I think they fixed it up in some way. Yeah, a little bit. Actually, that's sort of what happened to me. I heard the I heard the Wii version was coming out, and I was like, oh, I should play the original first. I've pro- so I I I played it at the same time as the Wii version, but I didn't play the Wii version. I think I've but played- I did I did I did later and yeah. it sucked. I, th- I think I've played every every version of Cave Story. Uh, that's that's been released in some regard. Like I played the Freeware one. I played the WiiWare one. I played the the Steam port. Uh, I, did you play? Did you play the one on PSP? Yeah, uh, no, because that was that was, that a, was a fan one, right? I know there's yeah, yeah. there's a fan one on the PSP, and I want which version I really want to play is the fucking someone ported it to the Sega Genesis, so I, I really want to play oh, that I, one. Oh, I played I played some of that actually. That's that's really cool. I'd love I'd love it if someone could port it could port it to the the SNES. Yeah, I actually played it on my uh, Genesis Mini. Oh, I have I have a SNES now. My old roommate gave me his his Super Nintendo. Damn, he just gave you one. Uh, he just yeah, he just didn't want it anymore. Or he 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 was trying to pack light, and he was just like, anyone want my Super Nintendo? He only had like three games for it. We had like Super Mario Kart, not bad, which I don't like. Uh, it's definitely Kirby, the first Mario Kart. Kirby Kirby Superstar, which is a plus. Oh, that's a that's an yeah. amazing game. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a winner. And actually, I think it might have just been those two. So I was, a little, I was, you know, pretty disappointing. But I mean, he had one good game. So you know, all right. Yeah. yeah. I'll take all, it. All, all, so, all for free. That's a pretty good deal. My friend, yeah. my my friend did that with his Dreamcast. He just sent me his Dreamcast because he he doesn't play it anymore. Was well, one of my friends was <sighs> offloading his like Genesis games, and he gave me like all three Sonic games, like a, a Spider Man game, and like a Quack Shot, the Donald Duck game actually, and the uh, and some other like plain <laughs> game. It was like. He's like, oh, yeah. oh, wow, thanks. And they're all in, like, the cases. And he's like, I was like, how much do you want for them? He's like, uh, 20 bucks. It's like, oh, uh, word, Shh. thanks. But I still have those deal. lying around somewhere. Mm, make it 19. Deal. Make it 19. All right, all right deal. You got right. it. You drive a hard bargain there. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, I still have my uh, Super Nintendo from when I was a kid. I, I have it. I have it packed away. I bought a, um, I bought a Super NT, like, a few years ago, which is basically just, like, a... It's it's like a console that emulates the hardware to like a very fine level that uh that like upscales it yeah. to 1080p. It's very it, it and plays like original carts. It's really cool. It's a really cool piece of tech. And uh yeah, I've... and I got a I got a flash cart a little while ago too. So I really don't have a need for my old SNES carts, but you know, I like to keep them around cuz a lot of them I've had for a really long time. 
I, I fucking I I think I sold my I know I sold my NES. Yeah, which was really fucking stupid. I sold it to the fucking GameStop. <laughs> yeah, we, we've, we, yeah, I think we all have a story I was, like that. I was fucking GameStop. I wanted to buy like PlayStation games or something, so I sold my NES and a bunch of my car- old cartridges. I even I sold Kid Icarus, which was a kind of rare game. Mm. I think they gave me like eight dollars for it. Um, so that was stupid. Damn. Yeah, they gave me like bullshit for that. I I might have sold my super my old Super Nintendo too. Uh, I don't even remember. I don't think I have it anymore. Uh, I didn't have that many games anyway. I have like Mario RPG, Super Secret of Mana. Those are probably not that rare. So. Not rare, but they're definitely expensive. Ugh, yeah. Fuck. You're uh. Wait. If you if you I'm don't curious. mind biting what, the bullet, what's, you what's could definitely look again? into getting like a, a Secret of Mana and Mario RPG. Look, get look into getting a what? Uh, look into getting like a flash cart or something. They uh. Oh man, Secret of Mana on the Super Nintendo. 50 yeah, 60 bucks 60 mm. bucks for one of those yeah a lot of the, the square games are, are pretty expensive um Ugh. or everyone knows Ugh. how expensive earthbound mario is. rpg is a hundred is over a hundred it's like a hundred to 150 i think chrono trigger is around that same price too it might be even more what yeah the fuck? It, it, no it's it's a mix of nostalgia and covid covid spiked a lot of game prices well, it's um. Have you seen? Have you seen the? I think Carl Yobbs just put yes. out a video about like the like the the the, the bubble, the right? Games the, that, that company scam from Wada. Yes. Yeah, I was um. I yeah. watch uh, Pathy NES Punks like podcast that he does with uh with his friend Ian, and they've been talking about this stuff for yeah. years. But it seems like it's finally yeah. getting mainstream, which is uh which is good because it is a uh, it's a yeah. racket for uh, those for sure. unaware. Watch the video; it's a great vid. Yeah, I was I was pissed off because there were so many articles about oh this copy of Super Mario blah blah blah, blah sold for two billion dollars and I'm like okay I don't fucking care. yeah it's just the it's just the same three people like buying and selling it back to yeah. each other to try and like create a market that didn't exist. It's the same thing that happened to like comic books and stuff. They're just finally moving on to games. Yeah, it's it's a uh, uh, it's nuts. I wish it wouldn't um, cause cause uh, you know they're sealed games. And uh, and most people don't have like sealed box copies of Mario sixty four, but that's not gonna think that's not gonna stop people from thinking that they're sitting on gold on their like NHL mm-hmm. ninety five or whatever. Yeah, yeah. My my normie my normie six. Oh, uh, sorry. My normie sister texted me and was like, "Oh, this guy sold Super Mario sixty four for a billion dollars. We still have that game." And I'm like, "Yeah, but it's like not sealed, and that shit's super." The, and also the scam thing, which I didn't know about, but I was still like suspicious. Wow, yeah, a SNES, a SNES sells for like two hundred bucks, so pretty good, pr- pretty good pickup on that. Yeah, yeah. that what's if you can really like go like super nerd into it because there's like different types of Super Nintendos, like like uh, on the mm. inside. There's ones, I see. there's ones that um, there's ones that like really hardcore. Uh, retro people really are, are out uh, looking for it's called like a one chip snes which basically it, 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 uh, yeah. it outputs the uh the colors a little better i think uh I yeah see. it was like a later model but it's still like the fat snes and then there's the uh the smaller like more compact version i don't know which one you have oh. but uh i have i don't know either i don't even know uh, if, the, if it's hey more guys, like blocky, what did i miss Hey, hey Gib, Gib's here. The uh, old, hello. the old, the old one is more angular and square, and the new one is like rounded. Yeah, we've does talked... it have an eject button? Uh, and like in the middle, you push uh, and it lets the game pop up. If if so, that was mine. That was mine in in when I was a kid that had the middle yeah. eject button. Which Gib, one? We've which one do you have now? All right, I'll get it out of the yeah, box. Yeah, go, go find I'll it right now, Ben. We're gonna see if you have gold. What is this button from? Uh, it's a Super Nintendo, or uh, or uh, I almost called it. I was like, oh, as as the Brits would know, it a Super Famicom. But I think it was just <laughs> called in the Super Nintendo over there. Yeah, we. I think the only difference is that the controller has colorful yes. buttons. Or yeah, something. you you guys got the colorful. You got the colored buttons. Which, I never uh, had a Super Nintendo, but a friend of mine did, and I was like, oh, yeah. that's not like the angry video game nerve. What the fuck is that?" 
it a lot of people really prefer the colored buttons on the uh on the super it looks Nintendo. really nice yeah i i like the colors a lot but i really i really like the lavender colors they went with on the uh on the american version and i like that half yes. of the color half of the buttons are concave this this button yeah that, this that's... one does have this one does have the central eject right. button yeah the, so the is that con- good, is that the good con- or bad that, that means it's a it's like a model one it, it could be okay. a, a one chip i highly doubt it is one because they're I, like I don't, a later I, version I don't, or whatever i don't know my, i don't know if mine is a one chip or not but it's the old uh box model and yeah i do think the concave buttons are better Mm, true yeah you'd have to you'd have to like open your you'd have to open the super nintendo to to even like know if you had a one chip it's it's really this is stuff that like really doesn't matter because you know you're gonna be Mm. you're gonna be hooking up your super nintendo through like composite through like a crt so it's not really gonna it's not really gonna i I, I actually have have, not even actually oh sorry it's box this whole time yeah I, I actually have a S video cable for my Super Nintendo, which is better than Composite, yeah. but not as good as uh, RGB. Yeah, I think uh, out of the box, S video is probably the best. I think it's the best the Super Nintendo can do without like modding. Now we're getting really heady, and ooh. I th- I, th- I think I think some models of the Super Nintendo have RGB built in, maybe but some of the later the ones don't. Does. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And uh, back back to Cave Story, I was looking for the um, the guy I talked on Twitter with, and he posted this email because he emailed Pixel. Yeah, I, I still what? distribute freeware Cave Stories from my site. This is a con- this is a continuation with the special permission of Nicholas. Yeah, it, 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 it like like I I'm, I remember this because this was um. This I, I think this uh this got passed around when uh when Nicholas did like a cease and desist on some sort of like fan uh like decompiler mod for cave story which sucks that they see indeed it's like it, it, it's shitty and they suck but it, it doesn't like doesn't prove they stole cave story or anything i don't know yeah wait who stole it i know Kara no blaster one. uh go uh, the guy who made Kara blaster also made cave story right have you played Kara blaster gib but not cave story no but i have seen an analysis video about it from oh, the, a very small YouTuber, and it was the, it looked pretty called cool. Tectonic Improv. Did you watch the Matthew Matosis video on Carol Blaster? I think that also. No. My favorite, my favorite Matthew Matosis video is when he uh, did a video on the Sonic Dreams collection. Oh my god, that's such a great video. And he uh, he he talks. One part is where he talks about. The character com- uh, characters coming out of Rouge the Vat- Bat's vagina, but he says it like he says it like no nonchalantly yes. that it's like hilarious. Or when he's talking about Tails taking a, a stinky poo poo in his diapy, it's it's probably <laughs> it's it's one it's it's his funniest video it, it, by far. Yeah, uh, I should give it a rewatch. I, I haven't seen it. You should. Oh, it's great. there's a. Has he made anything recently? He made the the last one he made was eight months ago. So no. Have you I think I've have you heard what's going on everything. with him? No. No. Oh uh, yeah. The, well, the, after he released the Meta Micro videos uh, video, uh, he he announced on his like Patreon that he's gonna he he's gonna like stop making videos. To uh, why he, like, he's making a game. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I've, I've wants, seen uh, some he, of those streams. I didn't really click on. I clicked on one of them, and he was like working with like a castlevania thing and he was yeah. talking through his process of figuring out movement yeah he he wants to focus mm, okay. he wants to focus on like game dev for a bit but and like uh like maybe i'll go back to making videos at some point but i'm not interested right now one of those like it, uh, it, it's probably gonna honestly, be a long time pug, base. yeah i yeah, I I uh, I always got the feeling like the fact that his videos were so slow i got the feeling that he was maybe like thinking about some others and he's he's talked in some videos about how he wanted to like write for video games mm. before and i was like maybe he's i guess i wondered like if he would ever like try to do like dev stuff so i guess that's not a huge surprise yeah good for him yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see it's what, the sort of what thing because like uh if anyone is behind the design of a video game someone like him you know, presuming, you know, the game is the sort of game I would like, it would be very well made. It would be very considered. I 
disagree. You disagree? Critics, critic, critic, critics, good critics don't make good artists all the time. Uh, sometimes they, sometimes it just doesn't. Well, train. no, that's the, that's the fear. Uh, I, I, maybe, I think. maybe. Yeah. I, I would, I would think that his his approach is very thoughtful. Like he wants everything to have a purpose. I'm. It could. I'm not saying that he definitely won't make a good game, but I'm not. I don't. I mean, I'll just, I'll just have to see. We'll just I don't. See. It's not. I don't know my, a many lock. other like agree, examples but... of of critics making games. I know Yahtzee did, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't really looked at that. Yeah, that that's that's actually the first thing I thought of when you mentioned that about critics making their own games. Uh, well, I've, only, I've only played the one Yahtzee game, and it was really good. He's definitely aware pl- of the uh, of of that idea, Ben. When he's like, when he's like, I didn't say he. I, I, I'm I didn't not say tr- he wasn't I'm aware. Not saying, of it. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you weren't not aware. But okay, just, I'm not saying that you weren't saying that I was saying that he doesn't know. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm on a podcast. Okay. Well, I me, mean, well, me either. Ben, you've like critiqued certain things before, and then you're making a game. No. Really, and you know, Tom False. is also making a game, and he critiqued My Little Pony. I've never. Cri- I've never criticized <laughs> anything. I've never criticized anything. Impossible. I have you shouldn't. You shouldn't criticize ever. anything. Uh, remember, in the that was my whole thing with My Little Pony was that I only said it was good, and I never said it was bad because that's what everyone wanted to hear. Really. Uh, and and if you said that it was yeah, if you said that all you got to do is make a little pony OC and have her say this episode was really good and here are some things I liked about it and everyone goes yay Eliasar <laughs> Eliasar our, go our back show, go our back our show is real go back Eliasar and watch the entirety of TBAP clip out like a clip show of every time Ben said yeah I didn't like it <laughs> or excuse me every time uh, Phantom ne- Horn said I didn't like it if you don't do that Eliasar it will just prove that I never said that damn it if you don't I... include <laughs> if you don't include any clips like that it will just mean that there were none I don't like my little pony because it's for children I don't like you because you're for children I don't really like the what does that mean? podcast because it's you know it's for children it's not really I don't, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't really like myself either <laughs> so I don't blame you Based. oh I want to see one I want to I want to see oh, fuck. I'm... I can't talk. I want to say one last thing about Cave's story. Okay. Is that regardless of whether Nicholas stole it from him or not, is it's still like a way worse deal that he got for that than Carol Blaster? Because for Carol Blaster, I think Playism published it. Mm. But like, like, um, he still like owns all the rights to it and gets money from it. Whereas with Nicholas, it's like people think like, like Tyrone tricked him or something into signing a bad contract. I don't know if that's true, but it might be because it feels like they are more involved with it than they should be, which I think everyone already knows, but yeah. Possibly, but you know, it it might just be that he's not really interested in like working with Cave Story anymore because I mean, I think I think that's like 15 years old. I think that's more likely because Another thing, like people come up with conspiracy conspiracy theories about, is like, oh, uh, N- uh, Pixel wants to make a sequel to Cave Story, but Nicholas won't let him. I don't think that's true. That, it, that's that's out of I, I've heard that before, and out of all the things that people say about about this controversy, that is probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Because yeah, out of out of anything, everything that could possibly happen with that game, Nicholas would love if there was a Cave Story too. Because yeah. that that shit just sells. That's and, that's yeah. You know, that's they, they obviously too. don't want to make it themselves, and Pixel probably doesn't want to do it either. So they're yeah. stuck milking the original. Yeah, and the game is already finished. It's fine the way it is. Yeah. Oh, did you ever pl- did you ever play the 3D version? Because I didn't. Dude, I did uh, play yes, Minecraft. I played it. I've also played Minecraft. Uh, it's it's the, the, the game 3D version of Cave Stories. Sucks. Caves stories. You, Apparent, you apparently, 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 Pixel also helped with that one. I don't yeah. know. It just that 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 is what you just said about how Nicholas would love to make a, a Cave Story sequel. That's kind of what they did with the three D one. They're like, oh, we want to make this, but I doubt Pixel like actually cared. Like he was probably like, oh, this is a stupid idea, but they're they want me to help with it, so I guess I'll help. Now, did Nicholas make it, or did? Oh, okay, sorry. I I, I thought Nipponichi made it, but I think they just published. I it. think. 
Yeah, you're right. I have I, no yeah. idea what any of this is about, and I wanted to talk about Minecraft now. Wow. Very well. It's it's oh, time I'm, for Minecraft. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at I'm, I'm late. I'm looking at brown the, the bricks. Mat- I'm looking at I'm looking at the Matthew Matosa stream. He's playing as like Simon Belmont, and he's just like jumping around on a plane. Okay, maybe this is too early. Maybe it's too early to say this. I'm not impressed with what I'm seeing. Well, yeah, the stream uh, isn't much. I think he's just talking to the viewer about like. So I'm trying to think about how to you you know do movement and and collision with platforming, and he's mm. he's doing all that like walking through. So it's it's not visually interesting. Here, here's here's what I want to know. Does he have an does he have? Okay, first impressions, and maybe I'm totally off base. This does not fill me with confidence. Not because like oh there's not many graphics or anything. It's because it, it he's he's fucking around with mechanics. Like how do I build a state machine? It looks like he is experimenting with like mechanics and like how to mechanically build a game which makes me think that he doesn't have like a game in mind that he like he doesn't have like an idea for a game he wants to make like he's just kind of trying to figure it out as he goes from what i understand on the patreon posts he like has like a couple of ideas for games that he wants to make and he's uh he he started off working on one and then, like his mm. his i his plan was that like if he ever came across like a, a insurmountable problem in one project, he'd try to move on. He'd move on to another one and see and see how mm. that worked. So I think he's on like the second one uh, of like his okay. couple of ideas, and that one is just like a straightforward action platformer, you know, or like a Castlevania or whatever. Which is why okay. which is why he has well, like the, the Richter model. Yahtzee made a really good Castlevania like or Metroidvania, so I bet I bet oh, I should, can do it too. I should play that. Uh, stalk, or not Stalker, Poacher. Poacher is really good. It's a really good little game. It, it'll probably be a while before we see anything from this yeah. game of his, which is kind of which which is a little sad because you know that means there won't be any videos, and you know Matthew Matosa's video is is I always. Mean, uh, I feel crazy. like I've got my fill of Matthew Matosa's. I I like seeing him his videos and the way he talks about things is is gooder than the his peers i would say uh but like in general i know about video games now i don't really need analysis videos about them it's just no. sort of would be nice but i don't know i'm too I, smart I, yeah I, I feel i feel like the meta kind of... videos was uh was already kind of like a, a sign that he was probably done it feels like a final video you know Mm, yeah. I'm not I'm not shitting on Ma- Matthew in particular, but I'm just uh I'm kind of done with like video essays personally. Like I, I don't want to watch like people talk about some shit for like 3 hours. I might as well just actually like play the game I or have, watch the movie. I have I have I have contracted the number of like YouTubers whose like video essays I will watch. There are still a few who I will like always watch anything they make. Uh, but that that number has gone down significantly. Yeah. Uh, I love it when people make like eight hour videos about st- stuff. Like that's like a full work day. It's perfect for me because I listen I, to stuff. I've at work. been. I've yeah, been, that's true. I've, I should do that. This week I've work listened boring. to the, uh, the the that one guy, the Patrician no. TV guy. He yep. made this this the set the seven hour video about Morrowind, and then he just. I just finished like the other day. I listened to the uh, the twelve hour one about Oblivion. Can't wait for the twenty six hour one about Skyrim. I've never even played any of these games. To twelve hours uh, is actually the cap on like uploads on YouTube. So if yeah. it was twenty six hours, it'd have to be three really? parts. Yeah. I noticed that it's exactly twelve hours long. It's twelve zero zero. And I was well, like, "Is that well, a coincidence?" I didn't. E- I didn't even know there was a limit because I, I maybe they changed it recently. Hour long videos before. Yeah, I have too. Maybe they changed it again. I think Must it's have. twelve hours. Mm. At least, maybe, maybe it is when you're uploading stream vods. I am pretty sure, in fact, that I have seen like one of those memes, like, "Oh, it's a thing that it happens for ten hours," except it was a hundred hours. Up, oh, you're you're right. You're absolutely right. Mm. Rem- remember when uh, the YouTube limit was ten minutes? Hell yeah! And, but if you those were the days. But if your like role on YouTube was director, you got to ignore that limit. 
That was like your little perk. Director? Yeah, like what? early... I've never even heard of Early that. YouTube had this like thing where like you picked like a... I think it was like a genre of video you would upload and they all got different... <laughs> they, yeah, I know, right? This is like so crazy to think about. They all got like little perks. Uh, the only one I remember is that if you, if you... Yeah, your class. Like you spec into a class on YouTube.com and one of the classes was director. And since you're a director, you make movies. Like, oh, okay. So as as a director, you get to abscond the upload limit and upload videos, I think, as long as you wanted. Well, I don't remember that at all. I, all I remember is the partner program. And they used to they used to make it so you couldn't make custom thumbnails unless you were in the partner program. Yes. That's all I remember. Yeah. I remember, I remember I, that as well. I, I don't think I did it myself, but I do remember uh the 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 technique of putting an image at the very middle part of a video so that it, w it would become the thumbnail yeah yes. so while you're watching it it'll just be oh d the thumbnail image for like five ten seconds yeah people tried to get around the system it's it's really crazy to think how archaic shit was back then but also how shitty everything is now with youtube yeah um, now it's shitty in more deliberate ways. Yes. Now it's shitty in ways that s serve them, I think. Oh, did you they uh the fucking the 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 drawcast, which is the name of the channel that has um Oblivion Fall and uh Teleperte and Seatoll. They um Seatoll messaged me and was like, "Hey, can you help uh, can you help, uh spread this around?" And uh, YouTube just terminated their channel for, like, scam content. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was about. no reason at all it's, it's, that I could see. Thankfully, it's back I already. think they got it back. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's back. That's crazy. But, like, that was really bizarre. I've, they just said they, it was, like, it was, like, scamming or, like, two, like, a couple other things. They said, and, which is, like, just not even just absolutely no logic behind it whatsoever that 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 anyone could see so i guess it was just a, a glitch or something or just a i don't know a cosmic ray must have like flipped a transistor in their in their in their in their uh, uh, uh supercomputers at the H youtube headquarters and it and it made this happen i also watch uh, for a tassium <laughs> the, the isr on cast its gaze on the draw cast and it was it was over <laughs> It's back though now, right? Well, but it's back, so it's fine. All right, everything's fine. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> yeah, uh, the eye of—that's the thing about the eye of Sauron. It looks at you, and then everything's over. But then it's fine. Yes. <laughs> There's a, gonna be an episode of me on there soon. We recorded oh, it a really? while ago. Is it gonna it's be out? The by the, the, time the draw cast. Be? The draw cast animation. We had to make an animation real quick. Ugh. And uh, Teleperty was on that one, and of course. And there was... Uh, well, made... the, that's not even fair. That's not even fair. Sure. Uh, but I still made <laughs> people laugh, so I think I win. I think I win my... Okay. I, I, I didn't embarrass myself. I thought I would, but I didn't. Give one, mm. give one the moral victory. Sure. Sure. Well, I'm jealous. And then, then. The, there was other like really good anime. Everyone else, aside from Seatoll, who is not an animator, on that, on that uh, yeah. drawcast was incredible. It's mm. it's like it's like they're all, like professionals or something. They like draw for a living. Hmm. True. Imagine drawing for a living. Couldn't be me. That's for sure. Mm. Like literally, uh, it could not. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, dude. Dude. Same. Same. Yeah, I sorry sneeze like that. that as well. I didn't think other people did. Jesus. I heard I heard you uh I heard you were having internet troubles, Gib. I, I was I was. They were they worked out. Um and uh, it's all it's really good actually. It was like thirty twenty five to thirty megabits or megabytes per second upload, you know, whatever the oh, thing wow. says. Or not upload, download. Well, but that's still really good. Yeah. Well, I mean we're at two hours, so it's almost time for us to be moving on to voicemails. Unless you've got like anything you wanted to to talk about before uh, we do that. Uh, nah. Uh, 
Well, uh, CC Tech, you guys good with uh, with starting up the voice the voicemail segment? I would um, of the Procrastinators podcast. I would feel bad if I didn't uh, if I didn't talk about uh, a certain thing before uh, moving uh, on to voicemails because um, uh, was the last couple uh, of times the last couple of times on our nine eleven. Yeah, well, uh, we actually did that earlier on. Oh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, too late. Dang. Uh, well, I the guess last I couple nine eleven. <laughs> The, la- the last couple of times I was on this podcast, I was uh, between projects, so to speak. Um, uh-huh. But, um, and I really haven't been making a lot of videos recently, but I do, I was uh, involved in certain, like, collabs lately, uh, one of which was hmm. this uh, this thing called Gaming and the Golden Record. So a bunch of, like, uh, YouTube hmm. people came around and, like, were, like, the, the basically the the uh, prompt was like, "What game would you uh would you send off to space to like have aliens discover it?" You know, like that. Uh, Super like, Mario uh, Brothers. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Uh, I I believe that was picked by someone, but uh, I was I was involved in that video. Uh, someone asked me, oh, okay. and I acquiesced. And then just uh just last Friday, Neat. or uh, a week ago, as of this upload, there was another another little collab where uh, a bunch of people got together and made one minute long essays about basically anything and i um i also was uh in that i i talked about uh i talked about the b52s the band uh and it's all it's all it's all uh uh back to back like yes the essays the video is all the essays together cool. yeah and they like cool. they're... another minute remaining that's more of my so, speed because video essays are getting too long these days yeah that, that's like the whole i'd rather point, watch one that's a minute yeah it uh i'm i'm, I'm I, I like the videos a lot i think uh the the editing for the uh the minute long ones are are really well done and in, in that like the the through line is is pretty clear even though like everyone just kind of did their own thing and didn't really like work together uh, the editor mm. Hot Cider, he did a really good job on that one, and also I liked the the Golden Record video as well. I was uh, cool. happy with my prompt. All right, uh, I guess we'll put links Congrats. to those down in the in the nice yeah, content, in the, uh, bro. In the doobly <laughs> do, yeah, nice con, nice content. Bro. We're we're all we're all very proud of you. I I, I need to get into. <laughs> More content creation, yeah. but uh, I'm too lazy. What, uh, and... what game would I send out into space? Oh, 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 Phantom's oh, oh, Revenge, oh, oh. of course. Um, fucking Phantom's Revenge, obviously. I, yeah. Uh, duh, I got yeah. the Tales Gets Trolled book. I got it. I bought it. I have it now. It's on my shelf. Oh, shit. oh you beat oh, me to I'm it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. Uh, I still haven't got. It's been selling pretty well, which is awesome. Me and Laserbot haven't gotten our copies yet because uh, I ordered like free copy. Co- well, they're free except for the um production costs so it was like ten dollars yeah, instead yeah. of 30 but they sure. like they prioritize bot copies before um the free copies for authors so me and laserbot yeah. haven't gotten ours yet but i'm looking forward to that yeah it's cool. it's it's cool. cool i i i knew this technology existed where you put up a book amazon prints it and sends it rather than you having to do any production yeah pr- print on demand is uh... and I mean, it's it's very convenient. But I I never really yeah. looked into it. I was thinking about doing it for like my own comics, but apparently it's like it's better for uh, written words. Um, mm. like the, yeah, the that, quality that's the, of that... the paper is not like oh uh, smooth like uh, whatever you call it paper, manga paper, not manga paper, uh, comic book stuff stuff, yeah. and and the colors are a bit glossy. The colors are a bit washed out, but. Um, it's cool. It's cool seeing Tails and and him getting trolled, and all the events I, that uh, that follow. I actually had to edit the colors myself, but because in the first copy that I ordered, um, like you know the parts where like Luigi and the Troll King are fighting in the cave, and it's like really dark. Oh yeah, I looked at those. That that whole part when I if you just put in the comic pages and print them as is that whole part is just like pure black. Yeah. I, so I, saw I, it was I ha- like lightened up. Yeah. I had to lighten it up manually. And the, the other complaint I have is that it's really finicky about which like files it accepts. If it's like inside the margins at all, it like freaks out and is like, Oh, you can't submit this. So I had to like et- keep editing it over and over again. And I, I have like four or five test copies because of that, because I had to keep like changing it, but yeah, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think it turned out, uh, the final version turned out okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I better get, I better get one. I better quit procrastinating. Mm, yeah, same. what, Even what, what comic book wall, what comic book shelf is, is incomplete, uh, is complete without Tales Gets Trolled next to the Vapors, Chapter 2. And, don't forget your Kato <laughs> Anthology book. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually got that yeah. a few weeks ago. I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't my, got mine Although, either. you know, I haven't checked my P.O., I haven't checked my P.O. box in a while, so it could just be sitting in my P.O. box. And then like, soon, the Lord of yeah. Ghosts comic. Oh. Whoa. Yes, yes. True. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Congrats, my, okay. my children. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, so voicemail time, uh, I think. Before the voicemail, I want to say one thing. The reason I say sure. st- the reason I say stuff like that is because of the first Sonichu it uh um issue where <laughs> <laughs> this is like the funniest uh Sonichu thing in my opinion. The the cover of the first one where uh, Chris says, "Go out, my son, and zap to the extreme," and then Sonichu says, "I will. Oh. Thank you, father." Yes. <laughs> of course. I mean, of course. Sure. Of course. I'm familiar. Oh. I'm I'm familiar with the material, <laughs> it, but that that's like the whole reason I like added that to my vocabulary because just because of that. It's go it's go Sonichu. go out and zap to the extreme. I will thank you, Father. When when Chris read it for like the audio, when Chris did like a video where she where she flipped through the pages and like narrated it live, the way that she said that she read Sonichu's line was like I will thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> just awful. Just yeah, that, awful. I will. That. That I will, I will zap that's, the that, extreme. That, that sounds that sounds that sounds like her accent. But yeah, the, yeah, a little bit. The way I imagined it is like, I will. Thank you, Father. I will. Well, Thank I you, would. Father. I mean, in my head, he just. In, I originally in my head, he just sounds like Sonic. He's like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. One zap, zap, cool. Mm, yeah, yeah, roast juice, hot. Yeah, we're gonna fuck. Nap, yeah, zap, bow, pow. Team Rocket, no thanks. You know? I I know. Yeah, Sonic hates Team Rocket, but uh, <laughs> I this might be controversial to the Tales Gets Told fans because I know that the um the fan dub is like really popular, but I always usually read the characters' voices in like their actual voices, like um. Uh, I, you know, Sonic. I haven't actually heard the fan dub, so I I can't. But I mean, yeah, I yeah, would like, imagine that they sound like their characters. Uh, they 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 don't. Well, some of them do, but some of them don't like. The fan dub gives Sonic like a really nerdy voice, and he sounds like, "Oh yeah, oh, t- mm. Tails, uh, mm. this problem can be solved without any villains." It doesn't sound anything mm. like that, but it's like a similar, um, you know, aesthetic. I respect. It sounds like a bold artistic choice, mm. and you gotta respect yeah. that. Yeah. But you it's gotta, it, it, that. it's it's funnier to read in like Sonic's actual voice because he says, "You know how it is. Uh, Tails is getting trolled. They're calling him gay and shit. He can't take it because it's." Like something that the actual Sonic would never say, and it's just funnier to imagine it in his voice. They're calling him gay and <laughs> shit. He can't handle that. Yeah. <laughs> That's no good. Yeah. Remember, kids, if any trolls call you gay, <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. no good. They should get. You should tell Shadow. They should bring Jaleel White back <laughs> as the voice of Sonic. They should bring him back from the grave. You know, Roger Craig uh, Smith was going to quit voicing Sonic, and I wish he did, because, like, he sounds okay in, like, Sonic Boom, but, like, other than that, I, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't really like his voice as much as the previous Sonic voices. I think he's fine. I'm just more, I just want them to just fucking stick to a guy, you know, and they've had Roger Craig Smith for so long, they might as well just keep him. Like, imagine if Mario's yeah. voice changed every, like, five years. Yeah, uh, they've had... Re- uh, Roger for the longest, so they might as well keep him. I know they like cut a bunch uh, of the other. I think guys. I thought I thought they would get like a different guy for like. Di- I mean, you know, the boom continuity is different from like the game continuity, mm-hmm. and yeah, that's that and that's that's that's, that's why versus... that's why I think Roger sounds best because it's like a different interpretation of Sonic. Mm, yeah. Uh, 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 so I would assume they would have two different guys, but whatever. Um, well, they sort okay. Well, I don't, I don't know. I was gonna say they did in the old days, but Sonic didn't have a voice in the games in the old days. Oh so. yeah, that's true. He does. Well, actually, actually, says... actually, 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 I, I, t- I take that back because 
for um Sonic Underground. Oh. They got Jaleel White, but that was that came out at the same time mm-hmm. as Sonic Adventure. So he actually did yeah. have two different voices. Sonic's and then later when is, they did is when he gets a, a a bubble of air. Doesn't he say yeah. something uh, in Sonic yeah. CD? He talks in that, doesn't he? In a, in Sonic CD when you uh You're you're, when you're he, right when you when you run out of time he says, "I'm out of here." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think I think a, a Japanese cool. woman voiced him there. The, the same Japanese woman who sang the um two toot Sonic Warrior thing. Oh no! Shit. I think that was the same one this had who voiced him there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. All if right. I remember let's, correctly, I could be wrong. Let's let's get going. Let's. Get but but going. Be, before you do the voicemail, I need to get some. Water. <laughs> oh my god! I need to get some water. What? It's it's hot what? here. It's like 160 go. degrees. Go. Run. All right. Go. Like the wind. Go get water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've had enough. I've had enough. You're all misbehaving. You're all, you're all keeping, delaying the you're inevitable. all, you're all delaying the inevitable, you know? And the thing about the inevitable is you should actually just rush headlong into it. <laughs> Accelerate to towards it, in fact. Yeah, <laughs> if, if at all possible. Uh, bu- 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 Speak like that. There's like a procrastinators. If there's like a like a a a, a cow that will happen, mm-hmm. then it's the inevitable. <laughs> I didn't get it. You true, true, true. <laughs> like the imagine he just ran around his room. All right. Uh. Sonic the, Underground. They the made a vow their mother will be Sonic found. Sonic Underground. The first Rest in peace. Voicemail. The first voicemail is called Try to Guess What's Inside. You Can't. There it is. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Welcome to the Voicemail Cast, the only podcast that takes place in the voicemails. I'm your host, the Voicemail King, and today we have with us Ben Saint. We also have give and take. Uh, hey. <laughs> right, so the theme of this episode is cooking. Personally, I enjoy making fried rice because the recipe allows for so much variation and the sure. ingredients are very affordable. What yeah, kind true. of dishes do you like to cook? Uh, uh, fried chicken. I like to put chicken in the oven and, and cook like... it and bake it. All right, Uh-oh. all right. It seems like it's yes. time for the voicemails. Ben, will you do the honors? No. You already did the honors. No. That's cute. I think someone else. That was a uh, that was a very uh, succinct summary of an average PCP episode. All right. Well, <laughs> we've on to on to the voicemails. I guess uh, the next one. I think I don't think it has a not a name, but it's from uh at it's from Doid Gazers. So uh, oh, yes. let's get hype. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. Hi, it's Doid Gazers again, and today we have a fire diss track <laughs> against one Ben Saint associate. Tommy J! <gasps> Tommy J, you've been leaving so too cute. many bad voicemails! Let's get them! Tommy J, Tommy J! Yeah! Yeah! Riley. Tommy J, Tommy J! Yeah! Get that chorus, right? Tommy J, Tommy J! <laughs> oh my god! I love you, Riley! You're my best friend! Tommy J, Tommy J! <laughs> Let's go hard in the paint! <laughs> Tommy J, Tommy J! <laughs> no one cares what you say! No. Nobody likes your voicemails, cause all your voicemails are scary! <laughs> Tommy J, Tommy J! <laughs> Tommy J, Tommy J! Tommy J. Tommy J, Tommy J, Tommy J, Tommy J. Bring my ass, we're back in class, so wear a mask. Let me take back. I'm a rat tat tat with my big ass cat, so accept your award, you big fat cat. Turn about tricks, kidnap your family, and ransom off to my man G off at mother's face. Make you disappear like they did. No witnesses, man, no stupid fire. You cannot deny her. You cannot compete with this eager empire. I cream, I don't be. I rap, I don't sing, and that's how I do the voice now, queen. Tommy J, 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 Tommy
Doid gazers, come on over. Leave behind, leave behind your sinful kiwi farm ways. Come in, come into the light. Leave the Sith ways behind bid, and join and join the path of the Jedi. Bid farewell to your bloodstained past, uh, like Cecil from <laughs> Final Fantasy IV. It's time to become a paladin of the PCP. <laughs> yeah, PC paladin, baby, we're doing it. Uh, uh, don't be a don't be a don't be a kiwi farm's blackguard when you could be a PC paladin. <laughs> yeah, that's he's what so I'm true. saying. You should so you should have you should abandon the white race and help us enact genocide. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You definitely don't want to be white when we take power. <laughs> you you, you want to be you want to be putting yourself as far away from that as possible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next next one is called uh uh fuck uh wait it, uh, the, the it's on the other page. I gotta look at what the other page is. Uh, it's called uh. Eat trash, die fast. Oh, three, two, one, go. So, if you died right now, or wherever you spend the most time, how long do you think it would take for people to find you? Uh, yeah, my my roommate, aka my dad, is here, so he would find me. I think it would take. I think it would take a few days. I think that nobody would come into my room. I mean, no, I think it would probably take. Probably Munchie and Kazzy would 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 uh, get suspicious about where I am because like uh, we're supposed to we're supposed to lift. Don't don't you have they, don't you have roommates or like apartment mates? Th- well, they wouldn't. Well, they wouldn't come into my room. They would. They like I said before. Like we don't like interact with each other. Oh, okay. Uh, so so they would not come looking for me unless like it started to smell. <laughs> my body started well, to. Now they just I mean, think I'm that serious. was a classic Ben Saint move. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, gotcha. If, <laughs> if I can be more, um, I, if I can be more specific, I think it would take like an hour for my dad to notice how, I was dead. Uh, geez. Oh, look at me! Look at me! People care about me enough that they'd find <laughs> out I was dead within less than a day. Yeah, I would. I mean, my, I no, mean, whatever. there's there's both good and bad to that because. The bad part is if my parents died, I would probably kill myself because nobody else cares about me. Sorry, Tails, if this looks emo to the viewers. But, uh... <laughs> I think, um, I think in the past, I think it would be less, it would be less than a week. I think just be- only because now I have, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to lift regularly. And if I started missing my lifting schedule, then people would be like, where is he? Before that, it would have probably taken like a week or more for anyone to be like, haven't heard from Ben in a while. And there's a weird smell coming out of his room that's different from the usual one. Hmm. Hmm. These Uh, these smells are a bit different from the normal smells. I I think before. I think if it were like okay in my old house, it might maybe would have taken like a week for anyone to be like Like, suspect something. I think here. uh, And except for the my my new schedule, if I were on my old schedule here, it could be like a month or more because like. like. Nobody would expect me to be anywhere. None of my roommates would be like wondering where I am. They would be, yeah, I would be here indefinitely. <laughs> but not. Would anymore. you? Would you skeletonize? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think I, if if possible, I would attempt to skeletonize. The rats would get them. Legend as has it: if you die and skeletonize, yeah, they come through the window. If you die and skeletonize before somebody finds you, you get to be live life as a skeleton. You come back to life. So oh, gotta, that would be so you, awesome. You really want to make sure you die in a in a dry in a hot dry place. You really want to get that uh, that process uh, uh, started. Uh, just just <laughs> just move to Arizona where I live, and you'll die pretty fast. Mm, Decompose pretty just fast. Yeah. Mm, based. Uh, yeah. Next voicemail. Next voicemail is called uh, Ben Saint scaring me. Three, two, one, go. Ben, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty uncomfortable going on Twitter every day to see you tweeting about Trixie. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like her just as much as you do, at least anymore, but I'm so oh, uncomfortable. Fuck, man. It's pretty disturbing, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's disturbing. Oh, I'm disturbed. Like, oh, that's so crazy. Like, oh, oh bo- what am I even watching right now? What am I even looking at? What is your fucking problem, dude? Take your fucking meds. <laughs> it's okay. A, it's a meme. What? Yeah, it's so weird. It's so fucking weird, dude. Like, if you think that is weird, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how you deal. I don't know how you deal with life. You're not gonna be ready when life attacks. Okay, 
<laughs> You're a nothing master is what you are. Uh, <laughs> it's weird because it's <laughs> That's like all I have to say. maybe they're thinking, oh, other YouTubers and like brand Twitter accounts brand. don't like talk about petty things, but you've been doing this for so long, they surely should understand. This do. is the Ben Saint way. I fucking do. Um, I don't know. It's just yeah. Why now? See, I was just thinking about this. Like, other, like people, people were complaining at me. They're like, Ben, you're too salty. Ben, you're too, you're too mad. You're living in your head rent free. But it, it's, it's gotten like, it's gotten to the point where I think people have just accepted it now, and it's just, and and most people are just like, eh, that's just Ben. You know, like, eh, that's just normal, whatever. And I was thinking, like, I, I made it. I broke through to the other side. I've brought everyone along with me to a new world where I can be as petty as I want to, and everyone is just fine with it. But this guy is a fucking holdout. This guy's a part of the old world, and it has to be destroyed to make room for the new. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's being good, a, but I just opinion. don't care to do anything about it anymore. I know. I know. I've just exhausted you. I've just yeah. exhausted you to the point that you you can't criticize I, uh, me anymore. I can't believe, I can't believe I'm on a no podcast point. with Ben Sane, known tweeter. I know. I know. It's so embarrassing. Same. You're telling True. me. True. Yeah, it's hard to it's uh, it's hard to be a brand manager because like you want to like start arguing with people, but that's not professional. But Ben doesn't care. He's just like you know, fuck it. We were saying, okay, we were saying people were talking about uh like Nate in like Nate's approach to the Trixie thing is like when people have asked him about like content, Nate is like so averse to conflict that he goes like, eh, these things happen. Eh, it's nobody's fault. Eh, the project just died, no one to blame. And it's like, no. Everybody knows. It's so strange. That Trixie killed it by moving. It's so, like, it's it's so obvious that, like, it's like, it's like you think that, like, it will automatically look bad if you say anything negative about anyone. But, like, no. If someone does something bad, the right, like, the normal thing to do is be like, yeah, that person fucked up. And if it's true, like, as long as you're not, like, making that accusation baselessly... Like it's it's good it's fine and it's good to say that and it's weird not to. It's like what, I think. what could possibly be like? Oh, he doesn't want to burn the bridge Just with like... Trixie. I don't think that's it. I think it's oh, if oh, people man. see that I uh, the... have emotions and I get angry at stuff, maybe I'd be angry sponsors, at other things. Sponsors like, will eh. s- sponsors won't want to interact with him if they see that he is like upset that his former partner fucking bailed on him and like wrecked their thing together yeah like ew, if they saw that like that bothered him they'd be like oh i don't want to work with this guy There's... this guy's a loose cannon it's, it's one thing to just like not talk about it because like yeah i guess it's your business but if somebody asks a question and you answer it with eh, whatever no no harm done it's like that's that's, no harm that's done. a strange thing eh, why would you happen. answer it if you're gonna do that it's just the way just the way the cookie crumbles it's nobody's fault it's just it's just destiny i guess it's, I don't know. it's just like that uh joker meme where it's like you think trixie killed the thing i i do and i'm tired of pretending she didn't you know oh yeah 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 fucking the rv situation whatever we all know we all know about the rv situation uh the next one is called i sort i sort of know but i i don't you can get into it later. It doesn't. Da, 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 da. The next one is called Tarpit Tranderthal. Three, two, one, go. Fast talking craftsman and indestructible super god Tarbuck Transom here to mine the past once again for only its good parts and discard the rest. On the last PCP, so like two weeks ago by the time that you hear this, sure. you talked about fertility statues made by like cavemen types, of and you remembered it as basically porn. Uh, well, I heard that as a kid too, but a while back, some female archaeologists slash anthropologists slash whatever noticed that it's what you see if you're pregnant and you look down. That's right. It is a sculpture made from the first person perspective. And holy shit, if that is not a cool as fuck idea. Um, uh, innovation. Wait, how is it? What if from... cavemen just had pregnancy fetishes? Okay. Just because someone said it doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, oh, no. yeah and it's, it's still hot like, either look way. Down, like POV statue. It's still hot. Like still surely, hot surely one, a pregnant obviously. woman, um, if she's making statues, can look at uh, other pregnant women and know what that looks like, and then make a little chubby short statue. It's like this is what it likes. It looks like to be fer- fertile, pregnant. 
babies come out. Hmm. Gross. What do you know? That's hot. I mean, maybe. I mean, obviously. I mean, yeah, obviously what it is and what it was used for is like, it's anyone's guess. Who knows? Who fucking knows? I, I didn't really think it was they probably aren't competing, competing theories. It. It's it's potentially. I've heard, I mean, I've heard people say it, and I I think it's it's I just mean, sort I don't of know. like it doesn't it doesn't sound that crazy. I, I, like I don't know whether I mentioned it at the time, but I always thought it was like similar to any other statue they would do. It's just like art is observing the stuff around them. They draw the story of when they killed the mammoth on the wall in the cave. I mean, uh, they make a little fertile why, why wouldn't it statue. Be porn? Why wouldn't it be porn? Because they'd be actually fucking. I don't know. I don't. I don't see any reason why. It, I don't see. I don't see any reason why it couldn't be porn. Well, I didn't say it couldn't I be porn, know, but like, just, I feel like it's speculation. It's, it's Nobody not knows as, what it is. I don't is, know if actually. they were that horny back then. In in terms of like being repressed and needing. What are you fucking porn. talking about? They would just fuck. They were they, they wouldn't like spend, You're insane. Time, spend time making a statue. Oh, I, I see. That's psychotic. Mean, yeah. That's crazy. That's that's an what, insane. What do you mean? That's no, 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 insane. no. That's you, you 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 mis you, you misinterpreted what she was saying. She was like, they don't need to make porn because they can just fuck whenever they want. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm just no. It's in, that's insane. What, what's You're insane crazy. About it? What are you talking about? What do you mean? You think what do you think human? What do you th you think that like a civilized society humans are just like going and like grabbing people and fucking no? Them, and they're just like yeah okay, just living like fucking like well, orangutans. I mean, yeah. Just like just oh just like, the, the unflans just just swinging around the boreal range and forcing copulation. Well, that's sometimes. like what you're describing is inhuman. Isn't didn't they make those statues in like caveman times and shit? They didn't need porn because they would. I didn't just say have they sex. didn't need it, and it's impossible. I'm just saying it feels more likely that there's just like statues of stuff, like they would make art about things about life. I yes, a, yes, but sex is a part of life, and like yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but like when you're when you're when you're. Can, do you not like the urge there? Like when you figure out, like ah, I can craft, I can craft the likenesses of things. Like obviously there is a a, a demand there, and there is like a, an idea there that's like, huh, I could make something that looks sexy and makes me fucking hot. And that, and we still do it. And believe it or not, we still do it to this day. We still craft images that get our fucking rocks well, yes, off. Yes, I know. And I'm pretty sure that impulse was probably there since the beginning of time. Yeah, I know. Why were you calling me crazy? It's not like I disagree with any of that. But but you said cuz I think that the thing about like oh they they didn't need porn as much cuz they could just have sex. I don't know what that mean. That sounds that's well, it's because what, all right, what I was getting wild. at with that totally specific wild. point was that as society became more civilized and cities and stuff from, like, small tribes to, like, giant cities, people became mm -hmm. more detached from each other, and so porn became more, like, prevalent and necessary, because you... I don't know. That's just a hunch. I'm I'm trying to, like... Ex I think. Think about, like... I think... Like, Vic Victorian England, that there would be a lot of porn. I think that in any era... In any era at all of human civilization, there would have been men who wanted, who who were who were not men men who were seeking sexual gratification and were not able to find it immediately. I feel like that's yeah. gonna, like going to be a universal thing throughout all. Okay, I just society. I just think it may have been like like if you, it was a, it was a graph. I think the thing would have gone up. In in more like city, like you th you you, th you think you think that uh, you think that like uh, 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 what uh, what's the word um, unfulfillment sexual unfulfillment would go up yeah with the rise of urbanism yeah mm. well I mean I'm it's worse like, now than uh, it's of, ever not been, even just so. that but like the 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 in England in Victoria I'm just thinking of Victorian England is like there was a lot of like oh you're not proper unless uh, unless you like like uh, don't masturbate ever and like sexual repression became extremely fashionable and and i don't know religions and stuff back in the caveman times they didn't have as much of that or at least 
you know, there was a time before it. I don't know. Sure, they, they didn't. They might not have had Puritanism as like an ideology. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess I see what you mean, but I still don't agree with it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not basing uh, it think, off of anything. It I was think... just a like a general hunch thing. Okay. I think we've made um, some great progress today. <laughs> All I'm saying. All I'm saying is I'm not crazy. It's what okay. You, it's what you. It's what you. It's what you see when you look down and you're pregnant. Uh, whatever. Okay. Sure. <laughs> where's the Where's the ancient if, fertility if, dildos? If, if that's If that's you know what if that's what you see if that's what you see when you look at the statue that's just as valid as anything else. You know, you know what? If they were okay. If they were really horny, why didn't they make like a uh, fleshlights made out of rocks and shit? <laughs> you know, I heard someone told me. I don't remember who told me this, but recently someone told me that they discovered an ancient Egyptian vibrator. Nice. And what it was, it's, you're not going to believe this. This is what they told me. I, I don't know if it's true. This is just what I was told. But the way that it worked was it was a hollow tube into which you would insert live bees. <laughs> no, 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 That would no, buzz no, no. inside no. the, the hollow tube. No. And that was what caused the vibration. No, I just no, heard this. No. I just heard this. No. It's funny enough to be true. See, all right, there's another <laughs> thing there's another thing about all of this is that the 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 sexual nature of a lot of archaeological finds that were presented in English um at the time of of like the industrial revolution and, and areas around then is like, oh, so barbaric. We can't let them we can't let people know that there were statues of penises and stuff. There's like famous um, of like a, a, a like a, a carving of a pharaoh with his wang out, and he's got an erection. Mm. And in the British Museum, they chopped that off. They just chopped that part off, and nice. so that so so the people couldn't get like they, so ladies wouldn't they faint. censored it. They wouldn't they get a case of the vase. That was can't can cancel they, culture gone too well, far. They, yeah. they, they, circum they, they circumcised, they circumcised <laughs> him. Yeah. And so like I'm not sure exactly. how much of like the education of history in that way, continues. So maybe I grew up not knowing enough about how horny everyone was. Okay. I mean, I, mean, I think the, the, I'm gonna say that the, the, the gatekeeping, the gatekeeping of sex, I believe is, is probably a part of human society even, even, even in caveman days, like even in caveman days, you like before there was any civilization whatsoever, you ha would have had like you know, you would have had like tr you know families that lived together that wouldn't just want like you know fucking roving, some fucking roving Rapist. like you know yeah. vagrant like wandering but yeah wandering Wagons. by and just like like raping raping but their yeah, daughters. The, 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 the people, <laughs> They'd be like no, the, like no, I'll fuck I'll fucking kill you if you come near my fucking family, you fucking scavenger. Didn't right? didn't yeah, they, they do that they in the Bible? Them. Oh no, they they yeah. so, they sold their daughters into sex slavery. That's what they did in the Bible. Yeah, for or a whatever. few loaves. Of they, that's what every, everyone everyone it was it was the hottest yeah, thing. It was it like was, the hot new thing to do. I'm not proud of yeah. it, but you know, peer pressure kind of. <laughs> At the time, it it just seemed right. It mm. just seemed cool. Everyone was doing it. I don't. And, uh, I, didn't I don't. Be cringe, I don't like doing so. it, but it works. <laughs> no, <laughs> didn't want to be cringe. <laughs> you you know you gotta hand it to them though. It really works. It gets results. Yeah. Uh, next voicemail. Next voicemail is called... Okay, there's a, an image and a video uh, attached. It's about cuneiform. It's making... It's writing with the cuneiform clay tablet. Okay, three, two, one, go. On the topic of old stuff, I've been thinking about how cuneiform was used for writing for like 3,000 years, so its longevity far outstrips any other way to write anything. Uh, and then I looked into it further, and I found two things. A, holy shit, is it ever small, like goddamn. And B, nothing I've ever seen in depictions has really captured the three-dimensionality that it has, how important the shadows are for being able to read it, and what the shapes actually look like in person. Yeah. The picture that I included is of a tablet for scale, and the number file video of it, that if that goes through, uh, will show around the three-minute mark what the shapes really look like. Uh, I just, 
appreciate how its literal durability has allowed it to endure with perfect legibility. And uh, I thought that was cool and wanted to share this with you guys. Is, well, I mean, that's why we still talk about it is because it happens to be the writing form that is best preserved. I, I really like this tiny fucking iPhone. It's so cute with the what? little squishes. Uh... <laughs> like you squish the little things into the clay. But it's an iPhone. Remember, like tiny little. I want a cuneiform phone. It is really small. Uh, yeah, I've seen like when you when you when you see it written out like on paper, like black ink on white paper, like it, it doesn't look. I mean, it looks different, obviously. Uh, I don't know. Not knowing much about it, I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. Oh, it's so. like cave paintings where... <laughs> I mean, where it, it looks kind of cool. It's, it, it, I like how it looks. It's like in certain cave paintings where um, under, like, a torch, uh, I mean, a flashlight, a flashlight would, um, it wouldn't work. You'd just look at it and be like, that doesn't look good. But with a torchlight and you move the torch around, the fire, the flames, they mm. flicker and they make it look like it's a moving image. It's, it's, it was, it was like, uh, it was like, uh, it was like uh, a video I watched about it told me that. <laughs> I don't really know how it works. <laughs> they said it was like the primitive animation. I'm like, that sounds incredible, but I don't, Anime? I don't get it. Wait, primitive animation? Oh, like, like the flickering torch The flickering of the torch the... would make the thing look like it's moving, but only with fire. Mm. You can't like shine like a bright LED light on it. And some guy figured that out when he realized that why they wouldn't have fucking LED spotlights. What am I doing? He turned them off. <laughs> and then he turned on. A, he he lit a torch and he was like, "Oh my god, they're dancing! They're dancing! Amazing!" Uh, I'm sure it looked very cool back in the day, lit by uh by campfire light or whatever. Uh. Next voicemail is called Behold He is the one He is one with the form. Three, two, one, go. Every day I listen to the PCP and for those brief moments I was you. I was there. <laughs> I am procrastinating. Is that a spicy salts reference? That's uh that's a yeah, it's a very spicy meme. Yeah. A very spicy it's meme. A year old, isn't it? Uh, is it a year now? What? What? No. What meme? Are, I was I was away for a second. Uh, it's the thing. Don't worry about it. No, um, I, I want to know. It's just this little crazy uh, thing. It's the, it's the, little, it's the guy that tried to kidnap. It's the guy that tried to kidnap Trixie's Nazi fiance. <laughs> oh, I, I have no idea what that is. Would so you I'm like not to gonna... know? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> You've made that perfectly clear. <laughs> uh, uh. A very, I just want to end on this thought. A very spicy Christmas. The Christmas special. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, maybe it hasn't been uh, a year. Now. Okay. Has it, has it been a year? It, uh, I don't think so. I, I, maybe uh, it was in October it happened. I, I, I don't know. When the fuck did, when the fuck did Void Gazers start? Yeah. I have, honestly, I have no oh, idea. Who cares? Never mind. Honestly, because we didn't hear about it until months later, so it happened at some. It happened well before we heard about mm. it, so maybe it has been a year. Um, next voicemail is called uh, "I Seek an Answer." Based Saint, three, two, one, go. Why are class reunions so cringe? I don't know. I never been to one. I, I I didn't go. I thought it would probably be cringe and also i was like busy and i was like eh who has the fucking time who cares so i just didn't go fuck it uh next one is called crypto is over and done with three two one go so i just wanted to let you know that i bought some uh crypto no not right before el salvador by garden house and let me tell you um it was not the most uh, wisest uh, decisions because I lost nearly 20% of my investments. So when? let it be occasional still not to follow my example. Yes, do not do if you, it, what we do you ever. Check out this video by the Gravel if, Institute. Uh, it might, it might uh, educate yeah. you a little bit. 
on your if investment. if you bought it like a week ago then yeah i'm really sorry you owned it when it went over that cliff when fucking el salvador adopted it i don't know why that like hurt the price so much but it sure did it's at like, least 20 percent though i uh, yeah i can't speculate on why i think it's just sort of something it's a, it's a new thing happened oh everyone did do something and they did a new thing happens. A new, uh, yeah, a everyone new thing. do something. It's like musical chairs. Just like find a chair, buy, sell. I don't know. Just just sit in do one. something, and then like people see what where the trends are going. They follow the trend, and then the trend becomes a oh. huge thing. E- and it went down. Oh my god! Elon Musk made a made made a tweet. Everybody find a chair. Everyone find either a red chair to sell or a green chair to buy. Oh, everyone's sitting in red. Oh uh, well, price goes down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you next time. Uh, <laughs> um. Next voicemail is called, what is it? It is called, uh, Crypto is Over and Done With number two. Three, two, one, go. This is a follow-up to my uh, Ripple and the Morse. I ended up cutting my losses and go all in on Chainlink. But as uh, fate would have it, it's even worse. Uh, why? So, yeah. Just... I, you I cut think, your losses and made I think, a I think worse I'm, decision? I guess it fell. Cut his losses, sold his other crypto. Yeah, well, it's it's not cutting your losses if then you buy some more of a different crypto. I think I'm out of the crypto buying for, for now, unless I see some, like, really compelling evidence that, like, oh, no, it's, it's, like, it's going to go. Soon. It's got to go really far down for, my, for me to get interested again. I've made my small yeah, profit, maybe. and I'm good to sit on that forever. Man, I don't know if people people are still saying it's going to a hundred by the end of the year, and uh, I don't know. That's about that. That's just hopeful. They I just want that to happen because that. they're invested in it. There's only like I want it to go to minus a hundred by the end of the year, so I can invest again. True. True. Uh, next voicemail is called. Uh, Yiga Yiga Gazers. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is Riley. Where is the money? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You tell me. It's coming. It's coming, yeah. It'll be right here. It'll be here in a minute. It'll be here in a minute, uh uh like that scene from uh from the room when he's on the roof. Where's my money, where's my Denny? Fucking, It'll be here in a minute. Fucking money, Trixie. <laughs> it's coming, I swear. Just give me five more minutes and I'll have it for you. Just give me five more minutes. Who sold videos. you the drugs? <laughs> what kind of drugs do you take? <laughs> but are you buying them to them? Selling them to them? What is it? You're not my fucking mother. <laughs> <laughs> next voicemail okay. is called Next voicemail is called Big Guy. Three, two, one, go. Hey then, can I draw fan art oh of your OCs? No! Um, this is a reference to the fact that I told, I saw an artist asking another artist, like, "Oh, your OC is cute. Can I draw them?" <laughs> and I and I I said, "You don't. You don't have to ask them. You don't have to ask for permission." And they and they were like, "I'm doing it to be courteous and respectful." And I was like, "That's dumb. It's." It's courteous. It's not discourteous, and it's not disrespectful. In fact, personally, I find it annoying when if someone would ask me, "Oh, can I draw your OC?" You know, it's even worse than that. Yeah, people ask me for permission to make tails get trolled like fan art, and it's like, first of all, I didn't even make tails get trolled. Is tails get trolled is fucking fan art? You fucking imbecile. Actually, actu- fucking Claude. Actually, no, it isn't. It's it's above oh. fan art. It's even more sophisticated than fan. But uh I see. The thing is I didn't even make Tails get trolled and even if I did, like you can do whatever you want, so it's like I don't You can literally do whatever you want. Yeah. You can do whatever you fucking want. Uh and this person got all defensive and blocked me. They said they said I was uh they said I was uh they said like don't speak for another artist. It's like I didn't. I just said it would annoy me. It would annoy me if someone asked me, "Can I draw your OCs?" cuz yeah. yeah, of course you can. I didn't speak for anyone else. She got mad and she blocked me. And then everyone in my Discord, everyone in my Discord had a fucking fit. Sporktown Heroin had had one of her fucking psychotic episodes and uh, and got everyone to uh, to dogpile on me. So, you know, very funny. Very, very good. Ha ha, we all had a good laugh. 
Uh, and that's what this is about. So there's your context. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Next voicemail is called. Wait, was that was that Yiga Gazers we just listened to? Yes. I think. What? No, no, that was. Wait. No, um, it wasn't. Uh, it was it. Giga Gazers was the one before. So that so that was that was big guy. Yeah. I think I might have switched those names around, but like, who cares? Whatever. Um, next voicemail is called Nate on the podcast. Three, two, one, go. You talked about how Nate doesn't want to be on the podcast because he doesn't want to talk about himself as much as, you know, random topics. And I think you misinterpreted what he meant. No, you're wrong. And ignoring the possibility that Nate just doesn't want to be on the podcast because it opens him up to criticism, um, I think what he really meant is that the current focus of the episodes are normally what's been going on in my life and, you know, what's been going on in my head the past week. What have I been thinking about? Whereas the topics often encourage talking about yourself, yes, but talking about your opinions on other things, talking about your deep lore backstories as a content creator, Um, things that audiences would be interested in um, viewing the podcast as part of your repertoire of personality driven content okay. rather than All right. I don't okay, buddy. know what this You're person give, is you, talking about with regards to you are giving that you are giving Nate way too much credit you have thought this through way more than he did the fact is that when I ask him why he doesn't want to be on the, the show and he says because I don't want to talk about topics that doesn't make any sense and it's nonsense and he doesn't know what it means either so like you're you're giving me you're giving you're like you thought it like no here's like here's this like actually what it must mean is this like oh and if I if I connect these dots together it's because oh it's actually because his interests must lie in this other place and it's, it actually conflicts with like his core philosophy of this it's like no it's just nonsense it's just nonsense didn't um didn't uh, he talk about himself wow. or like stuff he was doing on the gamer zone of course. What would you? What would any? What is any podcast? What do you talk about on any podcast? You talk about yourself, what you're doing, and and I what's up. So. What is any yeah. podcast? Yeah. So it's just nonsense, guy. Just just don't think about it anymore. It's not. It's it's. There's nothing to think about. Uh, next voicemail is called Ben Bullying. Nice. Hold on. I will post it right there. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This, this is a message for past Ben. It is 9-11 at 12.24 p.m. And there's no episode of the PCP. I'm, and fuck you, Ben. It's not my fault. Uh, it's Gibbs' fault. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, sorry for the late episode, but like, you know, whatever. It was like. 10 hours late like oh sorry why why was it late oh i i i I uploaded it wrong and then i was away from my computer for a long time and i didn't notice i I didn't schedule it it to upload i i just put it up unlisted yeah because i just just forgot to hit the schedule button because of internet problems uh yes but it wasn't exactly i was moving oh okay uh uh, okay, the next one is a, an image link, so I will put that uh, right here. Horseshoe versus Dr. <laughs> Ooh, Wolf. Ooh, let's go. Okay, here we go. All right, the virgin in horseshoes didn't credit Munchie for the pony avatar, gets mad about inconsequential things, is yellow but will deny it. The Chad Wolf assembled huge teams of unpaid volunteers, <laughs> features an Equestria Girls DVD Wait, really? art, proudly white. <laughs> Wait. Is the second one Was true? he an Equestria Girls DVD art? No I like way. how we don't question, like, oh, of course he's proudly white, but no, I mean, but the Equestria of Girls he's DVD. Proudly. Well, I mean, look at him. You can, Look at him, he's white. You can I will see. say. I mean, he's kind of gray. He's kind of gray, but like... This is a good picture. There. Wish there were more blurbs. Only three each. Yeah, come on, th- we can think of three some more. Is, there's there's wasted space. Yeah, uh, hold on. I was say Doctor Wolf. All right, I found a video of, of Doctor Wolf himself reacting to it. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So the the box art people 
did they put a, a screenshot of a Dr. Wolf video talking about Equestria Girls on the back of an actual Wait. DVD? What? What the wow. fuck? What a terrible thing. That's awesome. Why would they do that? That's insane. That's so bad. I guess they, the person the, doing the design just didn't give a shit. The person who made it probably just thought it was from the show and didn't know. That happens actually a lot. <laughs> Weird. They probably like looked it up, Doctor Wolf's thumbnail or something, or a clip from his uh from his show was like one of the first results, and they were just like, ah, here we go. How bizarre! But uh, yeah, wow, there Order. it is. Okay. Yeah, horseshoe. <laughs> or there be yeah horseshoe horseshoe never got on dvd box hey t- where's the dvds trixie where's the blu-rays then we could then we could have had it then maybe there'd be a uh a conversation mm-hmm. to be had lamau uh no i mean i guess chad wolf wins there's just no contest so okay easy uh uh but 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 next one is called oh Face. There he is! Holy shit! <laughs> there he That's is! Awesome. Well, my man! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. It's okay. like that fucking. Yeah, it's like that picture monkey tweeted once, where he added like some dumb character to the Simpsons lineup and pretended it was real. <laughs> yeah, Gumbly. yeah, yeah, Gumbly. Gumbly. Like, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't uh, no, invent that. But he got yeah. it from like he got it from 4chan. <laughs> yeah, but it's exactly. But yeah, I like remember that. Gumbly. <laughs> I didn't need to stop looking at this man. Oh, oh, oh! You mean Doctor Wolf in yes, that screenshot? Yeah. Yeah, like why would there be a little anthropomorphic wolf? Don't they know that the whole premise is that everyone is a human? I don't didn't know. they watch the movie? Well, Spike is You're a insane. dog. So I don't know. Oh shit! You're right. There's this, dog I president. can't believe this is real. This is insane. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, okay, next one is called Subaru Suwateruyo. Subaru Suwateruyo. Three, two, one, go. You have the power of full mind control, oh. but only of five people. Who would you choose and what would you make them do? Joseph Robinette Fluttershy, Biden. Uh, Ra- Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Twilight's, uh, uh, the, the, the other one. I'd be Twilight. Huh? You'd mind control people <laughs> would... to role play as the ponies, and you would be Twilight. I would, I would mind control. Yeah, mind control fictitious <laughs> people. Uh, mind control five people. Um, I don't know. I'll just mind control five really rich people and have them give Joe me Biden, money. Joe Biden, George Soros, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Uh, 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 uh. Je- Je- Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, uh, uh, Warren Gunnels, uh. <laughs> Who's the other one? Who's ben Saint. The, the rich, the re- the... All right, yeah, Jeff, Ben Saint, obviously. Jeff, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, be- best guy ever. Uh, uh, the Golden <laughs> Witch. Uh... Uh, uh, endless Jess, would... uh, give and take. Uh, Lethal Roar Mage. <laughs> Tom Oliver. Uh, Munchie wears tiny hats. And then we get, and then I would force them all to come back on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they need to. They need yeah, to be more specific. Answer. They need to be more specific about this question. Like, is there a like a distance limit to? <laughs> How you can like control, like uh, mind control people, or can you just like mind control anyone from anywhere? I like to treat it as a blank. It sounds check, like I'm so just thinking it's of like, it like risk it's, it's it sounds like you can just pick five people. That's that's sort of how the death note works because you know how you can like write, make people do stuff before you kill them. Of course, mm, yeah. sort of like that. I would get all of my favorite artists to read and enjoy my comics and say good job. That's what here's I here here's my answer. I would uh mind control Joe Biden to legalize weed. That's perfect. <gasps> yeah. I would I would I would con- I would mind control Joe Biden to enforce uh, uh vaccination mandates. Oh mm. wait, I looks like I did it. Looks like oops, my, uh... no need anymore. Co- what a coincidence. I thought, I thought you were gonna say mandate people to watch My Little Pony. Well, Gen Five you is coming out. You don't know me out. very well, do you? Then I guess I guess not. <laughs> uh, no, it would, be, it would make them be, make them read Homestuck, if anything. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's um, that's the only way we'll all make forget Joe me Biden to read Homestuck. Read Homestuck and talk about Homestuck at, at length on one of his speeches at like zero point pop- five percent speed. Oh yeah, and instead of his State of the Union address, it's the Homestuck address. 
he he addresses mm. he addresses he, he'll talk about his favorite state character. of state of the state of the fandom state of the fandom uh <laughs> yeah n- n- next voicemail is called uh a message from your gaping ass three two one go hey ben just sitting here in the mcdonald's drive through and i was just wondering do you plan on doing a physical release of slime and punishment because if you are that would be based yeah de- i'm de- yeah i've definitely said it before i'm definitely going to do a book when when slime and when the when the game is done and i finish the comic yeah i'm gonna uh i'm going to yeah i'm gonna do i'm gonna do like a like a homestuck book is is the idea it's gonna be like you know four four panels a page and like commentary on the bottom, I think is what I'm gonna do. I already started laying pages out. Actually, actually, I laid them out a long time ago. Uh, you know, up up to what I had done at the time. You know, I need to uh, go back and uh, complete that. Obviously, so yeah. Short answer is yes, and it will be like an it will be because it'll be it's many many more pages than the vapors, so it would need like a an actual like you know perfect bound uh, like soft. Uh, soft cover book not like a not like a saddle stitched mm-hmm. uh you know a uh, 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 copy of a, a comic whatever you call it uh yep next voicemail is called a message from your gaping ass two three two one go hey i also wanted to say uh turns out you're actually the soy lord mm. uh stopping so goddamn soy mm. already i don't even fucking i don't idiot. even like soy I like uh, I like almond soy, milk and I like soy, coconut milk. Soy, I don't like soy. Soy, 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 soy. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. The soy programming is activated. Soy, soy, <laughs> ben, soy. You that one time I tasted it was enough. Soy. Ooh. Uh, now I, I was wrong. I was wrong about that. Soy is good. Mm, uh, good. Uh, yeah, guys. Actually, soy doesn't turn you into a girl. Actually, soy doesn't have phytoestrogens. The watch the H Bomber guy video where he says mm. that soy actually won't mind control you and turn you into a yes, lib. Yes, everyone. Watch it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I mean, I, it, that's I, what I want. I yes, I... I want everyone to see that. <laughs> I want everyone to think it's good for you. Actually, I really wish it was as easy as eating like a different or drinking a different kind of milk or whatever. But yeah, actually, uh, I have yeah, to buy oh, well, eat the eating the eating the miracle yeah, cause, burger. Because why why would you get on HRT if you can just eat soy all the time? Yeah. Soy, soy, <laughs> soy, soy. Hell, if it, if, if it was that easy, I would do it too. Hmm? Soy. If it were, if it were, you gotta eat the Miracle Burger. It's got like a hundred times the estrogen. Oh, you mean the uh, Impossible Burger from Burger That's King? That's the one. Yes, yes, the Impossible Burger. Lamau. Uh, also, the five G signals. <laughs> someone the 5G in a burger. Someone in a restaurant. We were. I was joking about like uh, you know vaccine conspiracies, and a guy at the table over from us. He he he, he, he chimed in to say something about like five G and and like vaccines and stuff, and like uh, uh like you know uh heavy metal particles or something. And and okay, the the point is. He chimed in, mm. and I, I genuinely could not tell if he was, like, saying, like, haha, actually, there is some truth to the COVID, like, the vaccines are poison thing, or if he was, like, chiming in to, like, make a joke along with us, like, haha, yeah, that's so funny, you should check this stuff out, it's funny, too. I genuinely could not figure out which one it was, and it made me very uncomfortable, because I was like, I don't want to laugh, and I don't want to engage with this guy on the chance that he is being serious, but I don't want to shun him and make him feel bad on the chance that he is just trying to have a goof with me. And I, and I was I was really I was really caught between a, lo- a rock and a hard place on that one. That's quite a conundrum. I know. I kind of just had to sort of thread the needle and be like, Haha, and like act like I was amused, but not too amused. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that was my sol- that was my solution. Um. I know that uh, feel. <laughs> Next voicemail is uh, a message from your gaping ass three. <laughs> three, <laughs> three, two, one, go. Okay, here's my true thoughts about Benjamin Saint. Mm. Uh, he is hilarious. Absolutely funny. I love him. True. He is God tier in terms of humor, but God damn it, I want to strangle him sometimes with his fucking lefty opinions. It actually hurts me. But, like, 
it's funny, so I don't care. I can't tell if this is like a parody. I don't care, but uh. Floundering. Cool man. Have what? a nice day. Thanks for the email. Is he... What was the last bit? I, I think he said he's floundering or something. Uh yeah, you sure did. Okay. Next one is called uh fuck, where did I put it? It's called a message no, this one is called Applejack. Oh, I yeah, love these. here we go. Uploading now. Applejack. Three, two, one, go. Howdy, Phantom Horde. Sorry, I haven't made a voicemail in a while. I've been real busy. I'm here at the Apple Orchard. Always I just nice got to done picking you. apples. I was listening to the latest episode, and I got thinking, you should make your own brony lecture. Jenny Nicholson got a million bees talking about bronies. You could do it, too, if you talk about your time in the fandom. The history of it all, the stupid things that happened, and all the freaks you met, like brony curious and cake standard. Cake especially is a gold nugget. That needs to be mine. Call the video the truth about bronies or the dark side of the brony fandom. Anywho, I need to get back to picking apples. Fucking like apples, you idiot. <laughs> why, would, why would she get it wrong? I don't understand. That's Applejack, right? <laughs> yeah, what the I, fuck? I, I, Something's up. Honestly, that must be a change. Honestly, yeah. It, if we if we ever got the opportunity and it was and it was lecture time, yeah, a, a, a re a redo of the brony lecture by like one of by someone by else. By Phantom Horn, you'd have here. to cosplay as Phantom Horn to do it. I, yes, I could wear the blue, wear the blue, uh, spray painted blue horse head, wear the hooves. Uh, yeah, it's not a, I, I might, it might be worth doing. Cause I mean, there is a, there is kind of a funny story there. Uh, so I guess I just agree that lovely to hear from you, Applejack, even though you're a capitalist whore, uh, 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 <laughs> but, uh, you know. You look, you look, you look lovely in your leather boots. So it all, it all, uh, it all evens yeehaw. out. Uh, yeehaw! Nah, she's not my type. Um, she's a horse, f- or she's a filthy. You know, I'm, I'm not like you know, Phantom Horn is not like that filthy, that filthy, uh, uh, that travel vlogger who likes to mingle among the commoners, who likes to show up and like date, uh, you know, date like earthy, you know, like lower class, like like Earth Pony girls because he thinks they're exotic or something. You know, Phantom Horn uh, is, doesn't fetishize them like mm. that. Phantom Horn would never mix races in such a problematic way. Mm. Uh, <laughs> none, of, none of that, please. Uh, next one is called uh, Dick Punisher. Three, mm. two, one, go. How do you refer to each other off mic? Do you call each other by your IRL names or your usernames? Also, fuck you, Tommy J. Yes, I say Benjamin. <laughs> and I say his last name also. Um, I I call I call Gib Gib generally, and uh, I mean I call Tom Tom. I call Nate Nate. I mean, everyone calls me Ben. The only person who I okay honestly I I used to always call Munchy Munchy. Sometimes I still do. Sometimes I call him Anthony now. Uh, it's so I guess it's kind of Munchy and Kazzy. I I go half and half with like I sometimes call them. The one name, and I sometimes call them the other. Gib, I always call Gib. I never, I never call you Louie. Ah, uh, uh, Docs. I never have. Docs. So, it's on your Patreon. <laughs> I know, um, but most people don't think uh, about it. I only use my real name for like my friends or pe- pe- yeah, so. people, people that I've, people like that I know really well. For most people, yeah. like, uh, um, most people I meet online, I just use their online names. Unless I've known them for a long time, there was there was a a, a a phase. My my Discord server went through a phase where everybody everybody made their uh everybody made their their Discord name their real name for a minute there. I thought it was their. Middle I think for name. some people it was yeah for some people it was their middle names. Uh, I don't know. I think it's. Cool and stupid. I think it's, it's good and stupid. bad. I don't know what I think about anything. Um, I don't know. My screen name is my is my real first name anyway. So it's like you know, no, no, no confusion there. There would be no reason we- to like having a podcast like name that we just don't refer to each other as. That'd be really weird. Yeah, I, th- I thought Saint was your real last name. It is not. It is not. A lot of people. A lot. 
A lot of people think that, and a lot of people have assumed that Nate's name is Nate Saint because we're, we're, <laughs> I love that. That's one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. But it's not. It's not true. It's not. Yeah, he wait, took, are, uh, are you? He took are, their you mother's are you? Are you? Name. That's why. Are you brothers? You? What do you even? <laughs> yes. You oh. fucking goof. Wait. You oh. Wait till you tell him what TBAP stands for. Wait till you tell him what TBAP. <laughs> <laughs> TBAP stands for Two Best Brothers Bitch About Ponies. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, true. Yes, true. The, um, it, it, I can't, I can't, for some reason, I keep thinking of this, but the whole Nate Saint thing reminds me of the Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario thing again. You're, obs- you're obsessed. You're obsessed <laughs> with Mario, Mario, and Luigi, Mario. That's, that's like my favorite movie, the Super Mario Brothers movie. I had that thing... I had it on VHS as a kid, and I remember liking it, but I remember, like, the le- the second half got taped over. So I remember the first half really well. And I remember the ending. I remember when, like, the dim- the dimensions merge or whatever. Yeah. And there's a big section in the middle that I just don't remember. Um, we got one final last-minute voicemail. Gender abolition extremist in the making. Three, two, one, go. Is there anybody whose life is actually improved by gender being a factor? Like, compared to if it didn't exist, and femininity and masculinity weren't real things, and everybody was just described by individual factors. Like, at best, it feels like a total non-factor, where you're just, you know, like, you don't care, you're fine just being yourself. Uh, And at worst, it's a completely crippling condition that leaves you socially dejected and hating yourself. Mm. Like, why isn't everybody on Earth just a they then? Mm. Who the fuck came up with this shit? This is what I say. This is what I've been saying. Yeah, it's. I mean, gender. I think, but if if, in terms of like having a gender binary or like oh masculine, feminine, male, female, um, men, women, uh. The utility is temporary in that people grew up, like for me, I I like doing the woman things because it makes me feel better than like compensating for having lived as a man for so long. But ideally, there would have never been a living as a man and wanting to live as something else. It would have just been I... they them from the beginning. Yeah, I that's think. that's yeah. Ki- that's kind of how I am like. I don't really, like, strongly identify as any gender. Like, I'm just... People think I look like a man, so I guess that's what I am out of convenience, but I I, I don't really care either way. I strongly feel that, uh, the, like, the, the existence of gender, like, the, the, the convention of gendered pronouns is just a very unfortunate sort of, like, linguistic accident that we didn't really need... It didn't need to be that way. And it's it's unfortunate in that it like causes all this fucking all this fucking strife and confusion and all. Apparently, I wish, it, oh, I wish we just didn't have it, and then and then there would just there would be no there would be so much we wouldn't even have to debate it. Apparently, it's like even worse in other languages besides English. Sure, for Sucks certain to be them, words I guess. have genders. I never really understood what that it's, even means. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a bit of like over complication that is like do we? I don't think we really get. I feel like we don't get that much out of it. Like, I feel oh, like it's, uh, it's a, like a it's cabinet a... in Italian is feminine. It's like, why? What is it? How right. does it make well, sense? Well, I mean, in some, in so, I learned this from Jan Jan Misely. In some languages, it's like it's genuinely like completely arbitrary. Like what ver, like what nouns are masculine or what are feminine? Like, like even if it's a person, like if it's like a certain kind of person, like a nephew or 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 something, like. So some like the word for nephew can just like be masculine, even if it's like a girl nephew, right? What? Some languages. Oh, oh, you mean other languages? Yeah. Some languages are just completely arbitrary and there is literally like, no, it doesn't. It's not like, oh, this is this thing is called female because we have a female conception of its use or purpose. Like, no, like it's it's literally just like someone picked it at random once. Uh, That's like every word. Real quick. Have you talked to Jan Meesley? No. Oh, okay. Uh, why would I have talked to Jan Meesley? Because you just said you did. Well, he said he watched the video. He's a, he's a YouTuber. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought they like, <laughs> I thought they were like on the podcast or something. I watched their um, I watched their Mario video the other uh, the other day. Like how many Mario I found games there them. Are. 
I found them through that video, and then I went back and I watched all their conlang stuff. Yeah, I actually, I actually found them through uh, the Rhythm Heaven videos, because that's one of my other favorite uh, game series. Yo, CC. I've never played a Rhythm Heaven video, but I went back and I also watched the Rhythm Heaven videos, and that was really good. Yeah. CC, did you get the new WarioWare? Uh, no, not yet. Ah, uh, it's great. But I, get, I, I, I guess I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to get it to fill the void in my heart that a new Rhythm Heaven game isn't going to be made anytime soon. So, mm. well, thank. I guess I'll have to Wario's there get that me. as a substitute. That's right. I... At least, at least, Ko Takeuchi is still doing art. Yeah, I like his. I like. I like his style. It's good. Uh, yeah. Great game. Everyone should play. Uh, I've. I, you know. I don't know. It. You more of a Wario I, Land I kind of guy. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I look at the game. It's, it's like it's just a bunch of rhythm-based mini games, and I oh, I, Rhythm Heaven on the, I, yeah, or 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 even WarioWare, and I'm just like, I don't know. Seems like, I, I guess it just doesn't appeal to me as something that I want to do. Is like sit down and like, I'm not, I'm not into like rhythm stuff. It's just like, it's so, it's so simplistic. I, I understand that like why it would be fun, I guess, but it's like. Doesn't it? I'm not. It doesn't call out to me like Ben. You should. Sure. You're gonna. You're gonna get. You're gonna get something out of this experience. I'm like, ah, this kind of seems like a distraction from what's really important. Well, have Phantoms you ever played, which, is, uh, uh, which is arguing on Twitter, which is posting on Twitter about how I will pay money to people to unsubscribe from Trixie's Patreon. I, I must have my vengeance at any cost. Well, but that's what hey, that's what matters to me right this now. This is the real you know, Phantoms Revenge. <laughs> it's like- yeah, it's true. It's like a Mario Legend of the Seven Stars or whatever. You get your mm-hmm. the shell, and if you time the button presses correctly, it does extra oh. damage. That's the. It's appeal also here. like, yeah, like uh, it's I also like extra damage. Uh, it's also like Mother Three if you've ever played that. Oh yeah, the battle. I played Earthbound. Oh yeah, I played the... Earthbound. I have not played Mother Three. The battle system is sort of like Rhythm Heaven in Mother Three, also. Yeah, you like time we have to... presses to the music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. Uh, uh, Is bu- that it? Bu- bu- I, re- I, re- I really like the Jan Meesley's, uh He made like three videos or something about Rhythm Heaven. Yeah. Got a lot out of those. Well, if you if you ever get him on the podcast, you should invite me to. Okay. I mean, if I ever just happen to stumble upon Jan Meesley. Yeah, you can you can see him walking outside sometimes. If I if I ever just just walking around town and I bump into the guy and I say, "Hey man, you want to come on my podcast?" Four thousand something followers. Let's see how much Ben Saint has. Five thousand. You know, uh, you may consume him to uh, absorb him onto your podcast. That's how it works. His DMs are open. Wait, how many? Yes, his DMs are open. He has less than five thousand followers. Hey, you know. On Twitter. Okay. This is this is this. I want to mention this is. Uh, I'll feel embarrassed. I'll feel a little embarrassed if like he what is happens to listen to this episode and like hears me say this on the episode. But I was a bit. I was pleasantly surprised and surprised surprised the other day when I saw a YouTuber that I know pledge to the Patreon. Uh, uh, to Snaker. Oh shit! The guy who does the Yakuza video. Yeah, he pledged to the pay. I was like, is that? Is that really him? Is it the Tusnakerer? And yeah, it was. Is. Um, it's like, it's like, wow. Was it? He watches wow, my nice. stuff too. He's a cool guy. Re- yeah. Really? Oh. Well, shit. Maybe I should say hi. Maybe I guess. you can. You can probably get him on. I, oh. I really like. Uh, I mean, I, I don't play Yakuza, but I really like his. I really like his Yeek video, and I really like his Evo yeah. video, and uh, there's a few more. I think. His, um, his those Pac-Man are the two that I also was good. Yeah, Tusnaker is great. I don't. I'm not sure if I've seen the pack. No, no, uh, I have. Yeah. Or the yeah. Dead Rising can you link- 4 video, I think, is probably... Can you link to his channel? Because it sounds interesting. Sure. Do you- yeah, okay. He does, um... He wanted to hear he that does, hot he Trixie does- goss. He- Maybe he did. I mean, I guess. Uh, he, he, uh... <laughs> yeah, he does, um, uh... Yeah, he does long... He does long... Vi- he, do- he does long video essays in which he... Describes a video game, which are just what I like. Uh, so yeah, uh, I thought that anyway. I thought that was cool. Uh, hi, if you're listening, I'm embarrassed to have uh, outed you like this. 
Sorry, not as embarrassed as you must be at the moment. Oh, uh, <laughs> We the Revolution was also a, a good video. No, the, that surprised oh, me. Oh yes, I have seen. I I have seen. I think I went on a big binge where I watched like all of his stuff. I watched a lot of the Yakuza stuff too, even though I'm like, you know, I don't play those. Yeah. But like whatever. I just like he's 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 a good narrator. Uh, Thur. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, I'm pretty sure the Snaker is also in those collabs I was into. He's a he's at really? least in the in the minute what? one. Yeah. Oh no shit. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. Okay. Well, uh, well, how about that? Yeah. Well, how about that shit? Well, how about that shit? Okay. Um. Shit. Uh, okay. Well, if you want to be like <laughs> to Snakerer and hundreds and thousands of others satisfied customers, you got to go to patreoncom slash the procrastinators uh, and pledge and get that hot Trixie Goss uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and many more access to the. And many more access to the PCP Minecraft server. You watch a, a hidden hidden gem of the bonus episodes. If everyone's repledging, uh, watch the watch the Minesweeper episode. The Minesweeper episode was a joy. Yes, it was a real joy. It's a little visual to make, one. and I reckon it is a bit visual. Yeah, but um, I really had a lot of fun making it. So hopefully, it'd be fun to watch as well. Um, speakpipe.com slash PCP voicemail. If you want to leave a voicemail. Uh, yep. And I, oh, um, remember if you ordered, a, if you have a Kickstarter pledge of $100 a month for Radcon 4 and you are getting a Road to Radcon book and you have changed your address, make sure to send a Kickstarter message today when you hear this immediately because I am sending them out very soon and I wouldn't want to send it to the wrong address. Uh, I guess that's, uh, I guess that's everything. Yeah. Tectonicimprov.com. Yeah? T- yes. Tailsgetstrolled.com. What? Buy the book. <laughs> Buy the book. <laughs> Give and take dot site. Uh, ah. Lord, Lord uh, of Ghosts Kickstarter. Uh, well, you yeah, still take no reason to go to the Kickstarter anymore. <laughs> Uh, I will oh, look yeah. at it. Just By the look way, at it for a bit. I want. I, yeah, I want to be more it. specific. If we're uh, if we're shilling shit now, um, sure. The 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 link to buy the Tales Get Strolled uh, Volume One, TGT Volume One Physical Edition. It's uh my pinned tweet on uh the Tales Get Strolled Twitter. It's also on the front page of uh TalesGetStrolled dot org. Because a lot of people are like, oh, where can I buy this? And you know, I just don't need to look that hard. It's there. Yeah, you'll find it. Well, good. That's where it should be. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Sick. Anything else? Anything else before we wrap up? Nah. Oh, I, I wanted nah. to talk a little no. bit about uh, the Tales Get Trolled, like actual new pages coming out, but you know, we can do, do that some other time. Uh, unless you, I mean, is there news? If you want to share some news. Um, I'm trying to get pages out faster, but you know, Ember Graham is writing the scripts and he's a grown ass man with kids, so he might not be able to do it. Lazy. Grown ass man with no work ethic lazy well he has to take care of his kids he's got and, cr- and work Ooh. and shit boo then again i have to work too so boo that's we're all, not content we're all busy that's wasted content i Should know it is wasted content the kids remember uh remember when Laserbot made like uh like six pages a week yeah those were the days those were the days I mean, I wasn't even reading at that point. I read it. I found it later. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, those would have been the days. They sh- they were they were the days, even though I wasn't around for them. Yeah, I'm a tales get no, trolled. Uh, what's what's the word? Aficionado, old veteran, veteran, old fag. Veteran. Is old fag the word you're looking for? Lamar. Yeah, old but I wanted terrible. like a a more. How dare you say that? You um, can't fucking say that. I meant like a more P- PC term than old fag. <laughs> Like basically that, you, but like not old you, guard. You That's what you want. Me. You want old guard. Old fuck. Old guard. Yeah. Old shit. Because because we don't old we don't diary. we don't say we don't we don't say fag anymore. We've never said a bad word, and we never will. No. Uh, uh. Okay, I think 
I think it's time. I think we're wrapping up. I think it's the podcast is over. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next week. See you on the bonus episodes when you give us the money so we can get that extra $60 so we can pass Trixie's Patreon, the ultimate <laughs> act of vengeance, the real Phantom's Revenge right and, here. And he will, he, will, he will pay you to unpledge. I will pay you to unpledge from Trixie's Patreon. That is all true. You, uh, That's true, and I've done it. All, all of you supporters yes. of Trixie who have made it this far. All, they're all still here. They've all been listening. They're all. They've all been thinking. I think Ben can still redeem himself. He's not. He's not totally. He's not totally sick and rotten to the core. Is he? There must be some good. No, but it within he him. was. No. No. Well, I mean, <laughs> we all heard that Doid Gazer's rap today. I think I might actually go play. <sighs> I can't. I can't argue. I can't argue. That was quality production. Yeah, came that came from the heart. <laughs> All right, that's it. Goodbye. End of the podcast. So so long. Uh, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.